naomba uh, service provider tafadhali kuja utupanguzie hii hii kampeni ndogo service provider pale kwa hapa tafadhali Tafadhali wekeni kwa hizo program haraka sana. Kama unaniangalia kwa upande wangu wa kulia just behind kiti ya deputy president hapo ni security team hata usikaribie baada ya hapo ni familia hizo seats za white hapo so kama wewe si familia tafadhali kutoka hizo seats zote ni familia ili tuendelee for housekeeping purposes so ICJ ikakuwa tena segemnege baadaye so kutoka hiyo kiti unaona imefungwa hapo nyuma ni security and then that is the family going down na ngechero kwa ngeta na lakchon ngo ongeta bote cha ngechero chon obwanta yogo tabote ngeta screen na mio changa ga chale la chala cha mile cha na chama gutuch o tabote ni ata sababu ke this time vile vile naomba um kama bishop edwin bet amefika uh, ama reverend david sang tafadhali kama umefika nje hapa ili tujadiliane mbili tatu uh, nataka bishop edwin bet na vile vile reverend david sang kama umefika tafadhali
Tschüss. Ah, tschüss. Ja. Kidogo tu Bishop uh, Housekeeping. Naomba watu wa Lee tafadhali kujeni hapa. Watu wa Lee tafadhali kujeni hapa and then the 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 service providers quickly come here. I need to change our setup here. Quickly. Kujeni hapa. Kujeni hapa Judy and the rest. Kujeni hapa we just help each other we change the setup here quickly. Um that is the cause of the family. The body needs to stay this way so. Good. Au tupatie wimbo tena tuendelee. sasa nataka bishop edwin uh, uombe hii siku ya leo na uikabidhi kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ili atusaidie atujalishe hata mpaka ale za anga asante sana basi waombolesachi chamiwe wa mheshimiwa wetu cherorot na wote walikwa Nataka tuende mbele za Mungu kwa maombi nikiamini kwamba yeye alie tengeneza maliumba mpingu na inchi na dunia yu pamoja nasi tuamini na tuombe Baba wetu wa mbinguni katika china la Yesu asubuhi ya siku ya leo naacha mbele zako na shukurani nyingi tangia tukio hili lilipotokea Mpendwa wetu alipoitwa na wewe umefariki chamii umefariki kanisa umefariki majirani umefariki hata na taifa kwa uchumla 
Leo hii tunakusanyika hapa ili kwamba tutoe heri za mwisho wa mwenda zake. Ninaomba Mungu katika Kristo Yesu tuanze mwanzo mwema katikati mwema na hata mwisho mwema. Ninaomba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kwamba Mungu ratiba ya siku hii na iweka mkononi mwako itendeke kadri ya mapenzi yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo jamii ya mheshimiwa wetu twaombea neema nyingi marafiki kanisa na hata serikali naomba Mungu wewe ni pamoja nasi katika sherehe hizi za leo ninaomba kwamba wote watakao safiri kuelekea humu ninaomba wawe na safiri kusafiri vizuri wafike salama Twaombea hanga yetu siku hii wewe ndiye unayepeana mfua twaomba kwa china la Yesu Kristo Mungu atukulazimishe lakini twaomba kwa unyenyekevu wote kwamba siku hii waweza kutushikilia mfua baada ya masishi haya waweza kutupa huo mfua sababu tuahitaji Mungu ninaamini kwamba utafanya hivyo kwa utukufu wa jina lako na muombea mnenachi wa siku hii atakaye tuletea neno Naomba roho wako mtakatifu na uwe chuu yake katika jina la Yesu. Naomba ufunuo wa neno ili sisi zote tuliyefika hapa tufarichike sababu tumekucha tufarichiwe kwa neno lako. Naomba Mungu wewe ni pamoja nasi sasa. Na naamini utakuwa pamoja nasi hata baada ya masishi haya utakuwa na jamii ya mheshimiwa. Ni katika Kristo Yesu ninaomba nikiamini. Amen. Sasa naomba familia uh, Mike tafadhali uniongezee sauti. Uh, naomba familia kama unaniona kwa mkono yangu ya kulia. That is on your left right from the deputy president seat that is, those are your seats. So the front row is the immediate family. Row ya kwanza ni immediate family. Asha tafadhali usaidie and the rest of the family. Kitabu ataelega mnyon, kibaga masingele. Asante sana. Kama mnavyosikia ni kwamba mgeni wa heshima ambaye amekuja kuomboleza nazi leo siku ya leo mheshimiwa Rigadhi Gashagwa ambaye ni naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya tayari ashawasili uh, ratiba ya siku ya leo ni kwamba wageni wetu wa heshima wamefika na, na nilisema hivi kongeten Screen na anogere ni angwa ya check pick up ka. Nijorocho wa lakchi waginde stickers tafadhali ngot kome MP ngot kome MC ngot kome neko tafadhali ko matita bote. Agere tayari kago it MP nebo sotik mheshimiwa Sige. Karibu sana mheshimiwa. Tunashukuru sana. Uh, on my left hata nenyu ngo ugele tai nengungeti. Ko ya ngota bote ni wachungaji. Ago kagibwa gara tugu galak chegi paisie ne lan iga seta ke pao bisi chejo mengech ki on gegere koria sindane ni iate ko matitor te gi ato munu butu itwa ikwere so go ya tunji tane mi bi andane ni so meeten ko be berwe ke ter ter enuna i'm just waiting for the family to settle down i also recognize the presence of uh uh the to Naibu uh, Bishop wetu wa uh, AIC yuko hapa. Asante sana. Nimesema kaka sawa wale AIC masaita uchabaksa kwa bitu nyote yese lakini kidogo tu. Eh uh, na unipatie wimbo moja while I consult uh, in Yangu baba na roho wako bwana Hey, I see Masaita, what's going on? 
mara ya mwisho ya si masaita okay fine kama kuna kwa nyingine tafadhali uh, vile vile tunaomba mfike hapa mnipatie jina lenu jina alafu tu tupange ratiba naibu askofu vile vile yuko hapa na alikuwa nasi jana Nairobi uh, tunashukuru sana kwa sababu sio jambo rahisi ili ukue nasi pamoja so chia katul kaka samale degere nga chere ne mega takati ni nyi abo mi chita ga masi inyi na to sugur magur sugur gonyo manyu chita katikati ge le ki sipte ni sugur bit ko tawa chita ga onyi troit aga nga baka muisho sugur bit waranit ko nata so gbindi aga bit ke ta stai bo mi ge baka nga eh en nguni so dj da fadali tupatie mmoja moja tukingoja AIC Masaita nasikia wako hapa kuja asante Yesu ndiye la ngohi atasa kwa sababu AIC Masaita wako nasikia kuna FSB wa bwana wa do tajiri na masikia Yesu ndiye yatuendele na wimbo DJ twende ongetabaten kapo kwa ngalala yang somo gini kulewa thank you you can start from the beginning of the song thank you anzia mzuri ndio ayimba sasa asante
Tafadhali waambie tupigieni makofi kwa ya tafadhali. Kama upigi makofi hapo juma uko na mpango nyingine. Pigieni makofi tafadhali. Asante sana. Kwa sababu nyinyi naona mlikuwa chap chap acha tena wapatie nafasi kipekee bado mkule hewa. Eh patia hao mbe nyingine watutumbuize ili tuendelee. Nikikumbuka msalabani mokozi wangu kateseka kavumilia matasa yote dhambi zangu zitakaswe Nikikumbuka msalabani mokozi wangu kateseka kavumilia matasa yote dhambi zangu zitakaswe Upendo wake pekee Alonyesha bwana wangu sasa sasa mimi niko huru ninatukua hivi karibuni hatafika hapa ndani Fine so um karibu atoke ama afike hapa Msijali atonusia oh, ndasimamisha tu hivyo katikati mtena mwanze kwa sababu now housekeeping mkono yangu ya kushoto de kulia kwako hapo ni clergy pastors na reverends pamoja na administration and then uh, tutafuatisha hapa mbele kuna kila kiti iko na jina tafadhali usikalie familia ni kwangu kulia na ni kushoto kwako kutoka hapo tukae chini vizuri usiache kiti katikati ya mwenzako tafadhali tunaomba ili ujaze dj twende ninatukuza jina lake mungu kateseka kavumilia matasa yote dhambi zangu zitakaswe ni matasa yote naomba tusimame dhambi zangu na hibu wa rais mbaya vile vile ni mtoto wetu huko nyumbani mheshimiwa rigadi gashagwa mbaya amekuja kuomboleza nasi yuko hapa ili aingie hapa ndani naomba kila mtu tusimame kila mtu achukue viti na tumkaribishe uh, ili aje aombeleze na sisi ametoka safari mrefu sana na amefika hapa shukran sana kwa sababu umaona ufiki leo hapa nyumbani kuomboleza na familia ya mheshimiwa tunakupenda tunakuenzi vile vile kwa umbali naona mheshimiwa Murkomen ambaye ni waziri wa barabara na amaona barabara so msikue na wasiwasi 
Uh, vile vile naona wageni wetu ambao wamefika naomba tufike tukae chini uh, kwa wageni wetu wa heshima uh, makatibu mawaziri tafadhali kujeni tukae chini uh, vile vile naona senator Hilary Sige senator Bomet karibu sana tafadhali mheshimiwa mama yao ama mama yetu Women Rep Kericho County vile vile wamefika asante sana karibu Mheshimiwa Benjamin MP wa Aina Moi karibu sana ndugu yetu mheshimiwa Tafadhali tukaribishe mheshimiwa Rigathe Gashagwa ama kwa jina nyingine Rigiji Tayari anaingia uh, karibu sana mheshimiwa naibu wa rais tunakuenzi tunakupenda na shukran sana kwa sababu umeona ni vema uje ili utusaidie naomba hapo nyuma tafadhali tunyamaze security team tafadhali keep ambia hawa watu hapo nyuma nyamaze kwa mbali anaenda kuona mwili ili tukae chini karibu sana na pole kwa familia sio kawaida tupate mgeni katika kichichi yetu lakini asante sana kwa sababu umefika naomba tuketi asante sasa naomba kwaya tafadhali twende tu kae chini tupite upande wangu wa kushoto alafu tuendelee yeah. Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais, mheshimiwa Rigathi Kashagwa, mawaziri, makatibu vile vile, wajumbe wa dafaka mbalimbali. Tumewakaribisha sana kwa siku ya leo hapa nyumbani. Na asante kwa kuja ili tufariji familia. Nataka tuanze ratiba na nataka tuende kwa hymn books. Tuko na wimbo mmoja hapo. Na nataka mchungaji tafadhali nje tusaidie kuimbisha wimbo mmoja. Um, cha kutumaini sina iko kule mwisho kwa program tunaimba stanza ya kwanza na chorus alafu tumalizie hapo cha kutumaini sina ila damu yake Yesu sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye Ban tusimame ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama njia yangu iwendefu yeye unipa wokofu mawimbi yakinipiga nguvu zake ndizo nanga kwake Yesu nasimama Die mwamba ni salama die mwamba ni salama die mwamba ni salama damu yake na sadaka na tegemea daima yote chini yakisha mokosi atanitosha kwake Yesu nasimama Die mwamba ni salama die mwamba ni salama die mwamba ni salama nikiitwa hukumuni moyoni nina amani nikivikwa haki yake sina hofu mbele kwake Yesu nasimama 
Die mambani salama Die mambani salama Die mambani salama Asante ni tuketi kanisa tafadhali tu chukuru shukani Mugeni wetu Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais mawasiri wote cabinet secretaries senators governors wachumbe wote ma MCS na wabunge na wageni wote ambao tumefika tuweze kuchumuika pamoja na chukua nafasi hii ni wakaribishe tunapoendelea na program ya siku ya leo tunasema asante kwa kufika kwenu Neno la Mungu neno ambalo nasoma ni kutoka Saburi tisini. linasema hivi wewe Bwana umekuwa makao yetu kisasi baada ya kisasi kabla haijasaliwa milima wala haijaumbwa dunia na tangu milele hata milele ndiwe Mungu mstari wa pili ama tatu wamrudisha mtu mafumbini Usemabo rudini enyi wanadamu siku ya leo tuwafanya ibada ya masishi ya wakili Vincent Mutai na asante kwa wageni wote ambao tumechumuika pamoja kwa ajili ya ibada siku ya leo ningependa kukaribisha mmoja wa familia Awese kutukaribisha katika ibada hii msemaji wa familia njoo hapa mbele your excellency the cs present and the all other dignitaries present napenda kuwasalimia wote kwa jina la Mungu Baba nasema Bwana asifiwe we as a family tunasema asante kwa kuja kutushikilia deputy we are grateful you have been a friend to this family you have hold our hand we are really grateful and thank you for coming to mourn with us as we send our brother thank you karibuni we welcome you Thank you for coming to put a smile in our faces. Thank you for coming to be with us. We really appreciate. Thank you and welcome. Asante. Tuenda kupata kwaya. Tumepata kwaya SDA Chorwet baada tutawapa nafasi na AIC Masaita kama umefika na hawawili tu ndio watakao tuongoza kwa nyimbo karibuni AISTHRS Jorwet followed by AIC Masaita DJ wanapokuja unaweza ku Tuomba radi AIC Masaita wacha ASDA waimbe alafu tuanze kuendelea na neno la Mungu. Karibu. Tafadhali 
naomba tuharakishe kwa sababu ya muda mko na bahati kuimba mbele ya naibu wa rais tafadhali tuimbe haraka asante Nayaweza mambo yote kwake yeye bwana nitia nguvu yeye ngome kimbilio mwamba ulio himara tutatenda mako kwa uwezo wa Mungu nayaweza mambo yote kwake yeye bwana nitia nguvu yeye ngome kimbilio mwamba ulio Tuwapongeze kwa makofi kwa hiyo wimbo nzuri kwa china la Yesu Mungu wabariki sana SDA Masaida Ninachukua nafasi hii uh, kusema kwa naibu wa rais kafana wetu cabinet secretaries na wachumbe wote kwa niapa ya wachungaji wa mahali hapa Kipkelion East nachukua ni wakaribisha nyinyi nyote kwa ibada ya siku hii ya leo ya mwenda zake wakili Finson tukisema pole kwa jamii ya mheshimiwa wetu Cherot poleni sana na Mungu awafariki nachukua nafasi hii nilete kwetu uh, deputy wetu wa AIC Kenya ili atulete mnenachi wa siku ya leo karibu sana Your Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya katika chagua mawasiri the MCAs governors present and all protocol observe good morning good morning once again um, in the siku ambayo tumekuja sisi wote 
kusimama pamoja na mheshimiwa wetu Jerolot and Lily and the rest of the family kwa sababu ya kuondokewa na kijana wao wakili Vincent ambaye ni mtoto wetu wa nyumbani tumnamfahamu na kwa sababu ya hiyo sisi sote tumekuja kusema pole sana mheshimiwa and your family and all the MBs present because Jerolot is your colleagues and the family of Masaita we are saying pole sana can I request that we all stand, we sing this hymn, Bwana usehemu yangu, alafu nitamwalika mubiri wetu wa siku ya leo. Bwana usehemu yangu, rafiki wangu wewe, katika safari yangu tatembe ana wewe pamo pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe ngatika safari yangu tatembe ana wewe Mali hapa sikutaka Ilini eshimiwe Na yani kutema shaka Sawasa wana wewe Pamoja pamoja na wewe Wana pamoja Na wewe ngatika safari yangu patembe ya na wewe Oni yongo se safari ni nileho ni jukue Mlango uni mwambingu ni Ningi na wewe pamoja pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe go ni mambingu ni ningi na wewe let's pray tuombe. Baba katika china la Yesu Kristo kweli katika safari haya tunakoishi tunakuhitaji we are in need of you in every step of our lives Vincent amemaliza safari yake sisi pado ngali tunaishi na tuko safarini tunaomba utuongoze tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu mkono wako uwe pamoja nasi Na katika ibada yetu ya leo napo mleta mtumishi wako Bishop Kotut atupeneno andamana pamoja nasi hati mwisho katika china la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amen we sit at leo tuna uh, tumepata bahati na bishop Kotut akakubali kwa sababu ni rafiki ya familia aache atupe neno siku ya leo na sitachukua muda bali ni mbese kumkaribisha yeye sio mgeni kwetu sana but uh, uh, i know you will get to know him better today please come sir bishop is one of my executive members in barasaku and i've enjoyed serving with him thank you Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Mawaziri, Makatibu, Viongozi, Watapaka Mbalimbali, Walioko Katika, Sherehi Yamazishi, Wambolezaji Wote, Hard Enough, but we 
with a few words we can use to tasema poleni sana ni ngumu hasa kijana mdogo kama huyu kutuacha atusemi kwamba ni rahisi sana kwa wengine lakini najua kuna wazee wamezeeka sana wako na miaka mia moja na wanaulizanga ikwani yangu ilienda wapi ni kwa sababu wamekula wamechoka na hiyo chakula wamelala hata hawana hiyo usingizi tena wanasema yangu iko wapi nimengoja sana miaka mia moja ukingoja kitu ni kazi kubwa lakini vijana kama hawa wakituacha tunasikia mbaya sana na we only console ourselves na neno la Mungu because neno la Mungu ndio inaweza kututia moyo na neno la Mungu ndio inaweza kutufariji kwa sababu hata hatujui kwa nini inafanyika hivyo kwa watu wachanga hivyo but god knows everything the things we do not know god knows the things we do not understand we leave them to god maybe some answers to our questions zitajibiwa kule juu mbinguni na tutajua mengi pale but for now we accept things as they come we accept life we accept death tukishakubali kuleta mtu dunia hii tunajua sisi hapa wakati wetu ni fupi sana na we can live at any time nasema pole sana family ya mheshimiwa cherorot mungu awafariji zaidi mungu akae na nyinyi tutakapotoka hapa sisi na kuingia magari na ma, na mahelikopta kurudi makwetu nyinyi mtabaki hapa na muendelee kufarijiwa na Mungu siku baada ya siku it may not uh, atu, labda faraja haitakamilika leo lakini faraja hukamilika tukienda mbele tunapoendelea kuishi tunaendelea kujitia moyo you know nilikuwa naangalia hii kitu ya kifo na kuangalia kifo ya kijana kama huyu na nikasema we are lamenting for a son who has gone from us too early gone from the face of the earth it is the neverness that is so painful never again to be here with us never to sit with us at the table never to travel with us to places never to laugh with us never to cry with us and even never to embrace us during our celebrations here on earth all the rest of our lives we must live without him only only death can stop the pain our death our own death can stop the pain of his death it's only that when we die we finish but as long as we are alive and he's dead we will be thinking about him talking about him looking at his photos looking at those good days the days we enjoyed life together the days we loved together we will always remember that it will never go away lakini the bible says in job chapter 7 verse 9 to 10 as a cloud vanishes and is gone so he who goes down to the grave does not return he will never come to his house again his place will know him no more when one dies we are completely separated for the rest of our lives on earth maybe until we get up there when we meet the lord in the air and maybe that is the day the by the song the writer of the hymn 
of the book of Tenzi Zarohoni says kazi yangu ikiisha nami nikitoka hapa nitafika pale na nitaona wale walinitangulia na akasema lakini nataka, nataka ni msalamie Yesu kwanza alafu ni salamie wale waliniacha pale duniani siku hiyo tukikutana pale i don't know what god will allow us to do up there whether he will allow us to say kongoi whether he will allow us to to discuss things about this world anymore i think mambo ya dunia hii itakwisha na hapa na tukikutana pale nafikiri tutakuwa tukiongea mambo tofauti mambo of the glory land and i i i want to believe that that is the story up there so that we don't discuss things that bring us pain again up there we will not discuss about death up there we will not discuss anything about failures the failures to lipitia through katika maisha huko juu tutaongea mambo ya mbinguni mambo ya kumsifu na kumtukuza Mungu milele huko ndio tutaimba haleluya hosana milele na milele therefore we encourage ourselves katika maneno ya kusema hapa sio mwisho hapa tutakufa hapa tutalala sisi wote all of us seated here are candidates for death one day or the other otherwise tungekuwa na wale watu wetu wa zamani wale walikuwa wakubwa wa dunia hii wale walikuwa na historia ya ajabu wangekuwa hapa lakini walienda na waliwacha kila kitu sisi pia tuko katika hiyo safari The Bible says in Job chapter 14 verse 1 and 2 also man born of woman is of few days and full of trouble he springs up like a flower these flowers we see here and withers away like a fleeting shadow he does not endure these flowers look so good and so beautiful right now but come back here in another one or two weeks they will be withered they will be gone you will not see that color again we are here but for a short season we are beautiful we are created in a wonderful way the bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made but the moment we yaelewi lakini kuna zingine tunajiletea wenyewe kuna kifo tunajiletea wenyewe niliambia watu juzi in another funeral if unataka kuishi siku mingi you can you can live long what do you do to live long watu wengine wanasema eat well and so on and so on yes na unaangalia chakula ni gani nini tunajichunga sana na hiyo lakini mimi ninafikiria uweze kuishi miaka mingi tuache vitu kadhaa moja tuache mambo ya kukasirikiana sana kukasirika kiasi ya kuweza kupasuka ndani unakasirika mpaka unatoa jasho mpaka unagonga vitu unakasirika hiyo kifo inakuwakaribia na utakufa kwa kukasirika utaitiol wakale wanajua kutiol kutiol ni kupasuka pia roho inakwisha sababu unakasirika saa yote kuna pia kupiga kelele mingi. Watu wengine wanapenda kelele 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 kelele. Unapiga kelele mpaka mizizi inatoka huku, inatoka kwa uso mizizi kama ya miogo. Au irobon. Na unapiga kelele na utakufa mapema because hiyo kelele ina affect mpaka roho yako. Kitu kingine inaua watu mapema ni wivu. Unaona wivu kwa mtu mtu anafaulu mtu anabarikiwa unasikia wivu unaangalia na kusikia mbaya badala ya kufurahi na kumwambia pongezi congratulations na furahi na wewe unaanza kusikia wivu unasikia wivu unapanga panga wivu ndani yako utakufa na wivu mapema it will kill you therefore tukitaka kuishi siku mingi tuishi vizuri na mimi naambia kina mama walioko hapa. Na kina mama ndio wanaweza lete kitu ingine inaitwa stress. 
stress chebioso ya mtu na mtu anawinda na kutafuta na kuongelesha na kuleta siku hiyo bado ni mzuri lakini kufika kwa nyumba stress inaanza chebioso does not allow the man to sleep watu wakienda kwa bedroom wanaanza na ukulete ile na ukufanya hii na sasa hata sasa kelele mingi mpaka mtu naamuka na kwenda kuangalia television saa 8 usiku utasikia watu wengine hapa walali wana wanaenda kufinya remote saa 8 usiku ndio hiyo sijui aljasira sijui ni gani hiyo ya saa 8 usiku hata 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 citizen niko nyimbo mingi saa 8 usiku watu naenda angalia hiyo ili usiku ipite because there is a chebioso in the bedroom chebioso mbaya chebioso mbaya amebaki kwa duve na dr matres lakini mwenye mwenye hizi vitu ako kwa ziti huruma anasema Mungu nisaidie ifike asubuhi haraka harakisha jua itoke sababu so, there is mnyama in the house Chebioso ili lazima muwe watu wazuri ili mupatie watu waishi miaka mingi. Yes. Badala ya kelele weka mayai hapa tunyoe hiyo. Kidogo enda lete matunda weka hapa tukule hiyo. Mimi naonanga wazungu kwa eh, kwa hizi 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 sinema sinema inawekwa hapo hata kwa kwa citizen. Wanaweka sinema nyingine sijui wana mnaita sopa ama mnaita sijui nini. Wanaweka hapo. Alafu wazungu nikaona ni funny kidogo. Lakini nimeona wa Afrika tunaanza kufika hapo. Zamani za wazee wetu wanakaa vizuri chebioso hata alikuwa kuna chakula mingi lakini kimnyo ugali kiletwa hivi dung moja na kuwekwa hapa mursik Watu na butul pole pole wakiangalia na kusema jabioso hii ya mune jabioso hiyo karuri kimnyetu komye lakini siku hizi watu nalete chakula kufika meza wanaangalia na anaanza story sasa nasema na ile ile zawadi yangu na ile ile anajua huyu ana pesa lakini atasumbua anamsumbua kwa meza mpaka mjamaa anaangalia ugali anasema ngoja ngoja nitoke kidogo hii kelele imezidi mtu na wacha kimyo kwa meza. Tusifanye hivyo. Ili tuishi siku mingi. Tuweze kupendana. Tuweze kuongeleshana vizuri. Na niliambia wazee pia we have a responsibility. Kwamba sisi ndiyo kichwa ongoza nyumba hii na ulete vitu nyumbani, lete chakula. Usikuje na mkono mtupu amenyo ageut na level. Eunde level ko na mami ke yai ro chebio se jutu ge tu no to ne uno ro ko le ki nyo une ke le akuna kari abab a le leo bo amekuja tu lakini matinye ke tiondo matinye ke tiondo ka nyo buj age udne level jaribu kulete kitu hata kama ni kidogo ingiza hapo kwa kari abab na u ai akiona green carrier bag hivi anajua there is something hata kama ni mkate nusu uliomba kwa mtu weka hapo lete <laughs> beana na kusema ndio hiyo kitu watu wa kule kule kidogo mama anakutorogua anakuja eh kotoroji ni yumbo gate ule wangu yule anakuja mpaka gate kufungulia mimi because sisi hatuna security hatuna security unajua Ninyi wengine mko na watu. Mapewa hiyo na kufunguliwa lakini yetu Jebioso ndio nakuja. The mama, madam yangu nakuja kufungulia mimi gate. Huyu anafungua hata jana alifungua gate. Na akasimama hapo kwa gate nikamwangalia nikamwambia hi dear na nikatoa carrier bag. <laughs> Kupatia carrier bag tulienda kwa nyumba kwa amani na tukakula pole pole. Na ndiyo tumekuja na yeye mpaka hapa leo. So that is our responsibility. Now it, it, because I'm not taking too long I want to say dunia hii tuko na shida. Psalm 18 verse 4 and 6 
to 6. Inasema, the cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. And verses 5, akasema, the cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. But in verse 6, akasema, but in my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. Kasema katika dunia hii, I'm surrounded by cords of death. They entangle me. They want to funga mimi. They want to finya mimi. They want to kill me. These cords of death and the cords of the, of the grave are coil, they coil around me. You, you try all means to stop death coming, but it comes anyway. Because there are cords of death that can entangle us, na kutufunga, na kutufinya. Daktari wa mejaribu, kila mutu wa mejaribu, tume kula hii, dawaile, tume sunguka, India, tumeenda kila mahali. Lakini these cords inasema atutoki, na inatufunga. At the end of the day, wakati nyingi inatu, inatuweza. But the Bible tells us in verse 6 that there is hope. There is hope beyond the grave. There is hope beyond this death. This death kills only the body. But the soul of this man is not here today. He is not here. Vincent is not here. His body is here before us. But his life and his spirit is before the Lord. Because Anasema, in my distress, I called to the Lord. He cried, he had my, I cried to my God for help. And from his temple, he heard my cry. He heard my voice. Alisikia sauti yangu. Na akani okoa. Aka okoa uzima wangu. Ata kama aliwachilia mwili yangu yende to the grave. Lakini aliokoa uzima wangu. Uhai wangu haimu hapo. Alinipeleka, nikaenda, aliposikia kilio changu. And I believe he cried to the Lord at that time. We cry to the Lord in many ways. We have plenty of time to say to the Lord, Please Lord, listen to me, save me now. Usinyamaze mpaka kufa, kuna watu wengine wananyamazanga mpaka kufa. Lakini kuna watu wengine wanaona hii kitu imekuja sana. Nasikia ikinifunga. Nasikia ini, ikiendelea kunifunga. Na mtu wanaanza kusema, jameni, naona hii kitu ni serious. Na unaanza kuongea. Na usiongee kulalamika. Ongea kuomba msamaha. Ongea pia kutafuta uzima wa milele. Sema kitu kwa mungu. Even if you whisper a word to the Lord, he listens to that word. He saves you from that word. Ukisema tu mungu ni okoe. That is enough. Kwaani yule muizi aliwekwa msalabani pamoja na yesu, kwaani aliubiriwa na nani? Nani alimubiria msalabani? Alikaa pale, akisema we are dying now. Hii ni kukufa tu. Hakuna na muna ingine. Lakini, Akapinduka tu na akamuambia Yesu, unikumbuke, <laughs> mahali unaenda. Hata sijui unaenda wapi, lakini ukienda huko, we kumbuka mimi. Yesu pia akapinduka na akamuambia, hakika leo, wewe, utakuwa pamoja na mimi paradiso. Wana asifiwe? Nobody preached to him, but he gave his life to Jesus on the cross. That last minute, akasema, Sita kufa hapa kama mwizi. Nitakufa nimebadilika. Nitakufa nimeokolewa. Nitakufa nikiwa mtu mpya kwa, kwa, kwa huyu. Hata kama wengine wanajua mimi nilikuwa mwizi lakini huyu um, atanipeleka kwake. Na akapelekwa aka, aka paradiso. So you have an opportunity. Say to Jesus, save me. Save my soul. 
I need you. Even this last minute, even on my dying bed, save me. And I believe this is, I believe uh, our son here spoke to the Lord in that way. I believe something happened. Now, in conclusion, therefore, Psalm 23 verse 4, somebody, the writer said, that is David, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Nick, Mimi, Ninajua, Nijapo Peter, Kwenye Bonde, Yauvuli, Wamauti, Sita, Ogopa, Mabaya. Kwa sababu wewe uko pamoja na mimi. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Mimi nataka to be comforted by the rod and the staff of Jesus Christ. Jesus has power to take away the pain. He has power to take the pain from your souls, from your hearts, family. He has the power. He is able President hapa niliwaombea siku ile kwa kabarnet <laughs> na bado na waombea na nakumbuka maombi hayo naye ilifanya kazi na imewaletea ujasiri nasikianga ukisema hiyo tumekataa <laughs> unasikianga ukisema hiyo hiyo tumekataa hiyo vitu ya wengine wanapanga panga mchezo mchezo tumekataa Na hata hii kifo tumekataa. Mwili itaenda lakini mioyo yetu tumekataa itakufa. Amen. Amen. Mambo mchezo mchezo ya shetani tumekataa. Yes. Tuko na uwezo ya kusema hatuendi njia hiyo, hatufanyi hivyo, tumekataa. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. Even unto death, he will be our guide. So, family, and all the mourners here today, sisi tushike huyu yesu, tushike huyu mungu wetu, tumpende kwa mioyo yetu, na tuishi vizuri. Tuishi vizuri. Na tupendane. Tuache chuki chuki. Tuache kelele kelele. Tuache matata matata. Tupendane na tusonge mbele. Because hii maisha ni fupi. Tufurahie maisha ile Mungu ametupatia kwa muda huo mfupi. Ili siku moja we will celebrate and say Mungu ametubariki. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord bless my brother Cherorot and his family, may the Lord keep you. May the Lord be with you. May he remain in the family to help and to, and to strengthen, to encourage. So, we thank God because his word is powerful. It comforts us. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you this hour. We know we are sorrowing. We are grieving. The family is grieving in a big way. They know the loss they have encountered by the passing on of this young man. But we want to thank you because even when the cords of death entangle us, when these cords of the grave come before us and entangle us even to the point of death, our spirits are free and they come before you. We thank you because Jesus Christ, you overcame death. You conquered it even after that cross. They thought you were dead, but you resurrected on that day 
to give us hope, hope forever. And even us, we will not die. We will only sleep. And one day we will resurrect and be with the Lord Jesus Christ forever. So we thank you for your word. Tinaomba, wendele kufariji familia, kutia moyo na kutia nguvu, siku zote wakutegeme. Basi utuongoze katika ibada hii mpaka mwisho. Katika jina la mungu baba, mungu mwana na roo mtakatifu, amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'll ask the family to move forward. Musonga Pambele. As I request uh, my colleagues from Nairobi, Reverend, um, um, Reverend Adera and uh, Mutangili, please come here in front. These are the, the pastors with uh, a plain few. They are our brothers serving with us in Nairobi. Thank you for coming, please. And I ask the family, can you please move forward? Chor when you get so Negue <laughs> Gobi will not Ah, Mun Magi Hip Jingwa Da to Book to Lensai. I now ask the reverends, the bishops, stand where you are, all the pastors where you are. Can you please stand where you are? And we can raise our hands towards the family as I allow my brother Mutangili. At Wongosa Kwa Mambina Bishop. Wanasifiwe, let us pray for the family. Heavenly Father, your word in the book of Job, chapter 2 and verse 13. When the friends of Job saw Job from afar, they were touched by his state. And they stayed for seven days and seven nights silent. And we are all silent before you. Because at a time like this, we remain silent to hear from you. Because your voice, your touch, your impressions, your perceptions and your presence, Father, comfort us. Revive your people and heal them, God, at your own opportune time. Your God who is never late, your God who never comes early. You are a permissive God because you are permitted death to come in this home to snatch one of the unbeloved and the pain, loneliness, questions, and even to some extent, depression has crept in. Where else do we go and you have the words of life? So we raise up your servant, Mwishmiwa, Pastor Cheroroti, and his wife Lily. Pray for the listeners and their daughter. And these other people to know, it is not because you hate them, you don't hear their prayers. But it is because a dispensation and a time of death had been destined for their son and husband and brother. And I pray, Father, that 
it will down in their lives to learn to let go and to let God. May the presence of the people around, your servants who are standing up and raising up their hands, minister healing and love in their lives. We even thank you for the nation of Kenya, highly represented by His Excellency the Deputy President. May you even further remember him with favor for the good work he has done to this family and what we witnessed on Wednesday as we even heard what His Excellency the President and the many people who are around him did to this family. Father, comfort the church, comfort the family, comfort the nation, comfort the county, comfort even this constituency and this world, because we pray and trust you with the family in Jesus' name. Amen. Pamoja na hayo, mwenyezi mungu, kagibu atai ngunge mwae kongo i Jehovah. Amui Jehovah na isabe. Inye nebo utugu kutugun. Iba usabe nyo. Kotege mi ngwany. Keti ene nge kityo. Ka kingen. Kingen gele. Ye imi gobot hech. Kuma mige ine girindo hech. Ama mige ine iterter hech. Imi gobot hech. I Jehovah. Negi yo hech. Araka ginde. Taing ngungai. A kap tupche nyo cherorot kuboto pikchi tukul kele si gai gai chek. Igi mitu chek agi go chika mangunet agot nebo sabondap kwa igen. So a Jehovah gele si go gerin nen nge tere ngung nebo lai torna tete ngip sengwet agot tok chin toko chikwak agot tiene ngei. Mu Kitian ini entian dah kau leh, jadi punya atau buat tabur buat tab met, kau magi yue yue itu amu ini kau bawa tej. Tapi kau bawa tu picu Jehovah. Tapi kau bawa tu tuh cengnya ag family nanyi. Tapi kau bawa tu angan asani, kau bawa tu ganiset, kau bawa tu big tugul. Ranyun indojin icek petusiak tugul. Agi kauci petusiak cokororon jemitai. So go to nensa en sabe tukul. Go en magengu. Mungu tunak shukuru. Kwa kusikia maombi yetu. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Mlaisa kuketi sasa. Thank you. Please, please, please. Go on, go on, Bas. Come on in program. You lost not yet, sir. Oh, me big up, get it to you. Oh, me too, good. When the barrack would pick up, get it to you. Bas. Come on, my young London, sort of board. Kai two yet, like where tap. Cero rot, nego gure no finsen. Migo ando iki o chemiu. Kuma chogo tu ye tu gara chogororan agegu kita genge kugi gerejo. Abu ati aloga se. Kuma chogo tu go tu ye tu kem ni achen. Eno ganase ne minenge ago ineo agera taga agegu kita genge. Asi gebar ini mana? Nampaknya, mungkin negara guru yang employment, kaya serbik. Aku amun aku bayi tiada apa coba, anggal lali aku kasih jawab. Mungkin hari ke muncul geser lakwe nata, aku ini baru tu. Aku bi family setom geser lakwe, aku tak kenge. Aku ini kau nyur degree. Aku nanti nyuruh cun jam ni aje, na aku amis, aku bantu anda uspigen dengan aset, amami nanti terletak ayat aku, 
ko biret ko nyonji ne jejek tugul ko kasi bi kap kericho kabana tonon bi chugo chugo tugul 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 lagu nani ngwale ago nang ko yana ko nwach ago nang menyo ko ta su suwe kan kan nabaga bate ta ko ita rat bi chugo ga genga ago woni jowo bang ngelap ta nagarara Sugo bare mane, mina bole a ma mina mina matwagu, mina matinya kuyat a gumina tindai, a gotu bulgo gi bergura, a goba gericho, o gale anjo ba mua unai, we need what we call justice and fairness. To everybody, <laughs> the issue of employment in a country is very pathetic. Very pathetic. You get a family; ten of the family members are employed. The rest of the people in the society, they are not employed. They all cry. They walk up and down every morning, especially to us people who are in Nairobi. Atu akukubata kwa street anafikiriwe ni mungu wao. So we need to deal with that thing once and for all. Do justice for all and fairness. Then God will come down from heaven and bless this country. And God will bless you leaders. Treat everybody fair, fairly and equal. Alafu wakati wanapo endelea tuwaenda kutuwa mungu. Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> tushukuru sana kwa kanisa. Uh, karancha tutakupatia na fasi. Nataka kama uko karibu tafadhali usonge mbele. Uh, tunafika mahali pa kuendelea na shughuli yetu na nataka familia mkuwe tayari lakini kwanza ningetaka fancy tion dafadhali ukuwe tayari njoo tu hapa fancy tion ili utatusomea eology Alafu tuendelee ndugu yetu Karanja kuna nafasi yako napatoa instructions kutoka hapa tafadhali Your Excellency Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya Mr Rigathi Gashagwa family members of honorable Joseph Cherorot and other protocols observed good morning my name is Finis. I'm going to take you through the eulogy of the late advocate Vincent Kipkoech Mutai. Birth and family. The late Vincent Kipkoech Mutai was born on 3rd September 1984 in Cheres Village, Londiani, Kericho County. He was the firstborn son to Honorable Joseph Cherorot and Mrs. Lily Cherorot, husband to Felista Zingina Mutai and loving dad to Stacy Cheptao Mutai, brother to Wilta. Cherorot and Leonard Butai, son-in-law to the late Joseph Nyamai and Miss Florence Nyamai of Kitui County, brother-in-law to Evelyn Gaki Mutai, the late Mary, the late Susan, Esther, the late Man Henry, Mike, Valerie, Faith, and Beatrice. He was uncle to Jaden Mutai, Jason Mutai, Tayson, and many others. Education. Vincent began his early education at Kamwingi II Primary School then Londiani Academy and proceeded to Highlands Primary School in Kericho, where he sat for his KCPE examination in 1998. After an exemplary performance, he joined Litain High School and sat for his KCSE exam in 2002. After this, he joined Kampala International University, Uganda, where he pursued Bachelors of Law and thereafter did his Master's in Business Administration. Vincent joined Kenya School of Law for the postgraduate diploma between 2008 and 2009. He was admitted to the Bar of Advocates of the High Court 
of Kenya on 5th April 2012. Hobbies. Vincent was a good basketball player and he also loved football. He was an ardent Chelsea fan. He and his siblings enjoyed having Yamachoma at any given opportunity. On one of his work-related travels, he brought a whole mbuzi from Isiolo and filled up his mom's freezer. Wherever there was any family trip or outing, Vincent was always the first to choose the venue and the place. Career. Vincent started his early career life at LR Kipsang and co-advocates Nakuru, then RK Advocates Nairobi, and thereafter joined Viva Africa Consulting in 2010, where he worked as a legal, tax, and financial consultant. On 15 February 2019, he was promoted to be an associate director of the Viva Africa. Early this year, Vincent started his law firm, known as V Mutai Advocates, with his office based in Oloitoktok, where he worked until his demise. Marriage and family. Vincent met the love of his life, Felista Ngina Mutai, in 2009. He got married, and they were blessed with one wonderful daughter and named Stacy Chepto Mutai. He enjoyed good family life, and he was a responsible husband and father. Christian life and character. Vincent was brought up in AIC Itoi, where he attended Sunday school and grew up as a member. He later joined AIC Kericho Town, where he was baptized in the year 1996 by Reverend Charles Omego. Vincent was a quiet gentleman to the public, but was social, humorous with the friends and people he was familiar with. He was a man with a kind heart towards both the elderly and the young people. He was a good environmentalist. Life lessons passed on to those he cherished. Honesty, hard work, consistency, and patience. Health and final moments. Vincent enjoyed good and healthy life until the last, until last year, April, when he got sick and was admitted at the Mata Hospital for one week. He was discharged and carried, and carried on with his normal life. Among the hospital which Vincent sought treatment were AAR Nakuru, AAR Nairobi, Dr. Gedaura of High Ridge, Valley Hospital Nakuru, and Haga Khan Nairobi Hospital. On Tuesday, 29th August 2023, while he was in his house at Loitoktok, Vincent fell sick and was rushed to the hospital, where he was given medical attention at 5 a.m. While the preparations to transfer him to Nairobi for further treatment were underway, he rested at 7.30 a.m. As we lay Vincent to rest, we appreciate the doctors who attended to our beloved son, Vincent. We also appreciate in a special way the group of Jackson Koske, Shadra Keter, Collins Kirui, Hilary Cheriot, Robert Bate, who volunteered to donate blood in order to save the life of Vincent. Special thanks to friends led by Senator Aaron Cheriot, Senator Hilary Sigay, Honorable Kibet Komingoi, PS Dr. Paul Rono, KCCMD Sigay, Speaker Patrick Mutai, Geoffrey Rono, Pavin Sigay, Anto, and many other friends who came to condole with us at Lee Funeral Home on Tuesday night when Vincent's body was being brought in, without forgetting everyone who sent their message of condolences. Revelation 14, 13. Blessed are those who sleep in the Lord. Thank you. Kwa muda huo, tunataka kutoa sadaka na naomba naomba Aisha stafadhali kujeni hapa mbele. Agere in kagoroige gavanana bogericho. So, ndechi tu ule uti in. Kela mtu angalia mfuko ya left and right. Karanja stafadhali na timi yako kuja tuimbe ili tukitoa sadaka. Nilikuwa ni mwaita stafadhali. This is a... Nilikuwa ni mwaita stafadhali. Arabla, just go back to what you were talking about. You are to go to the house. You are going to go to the the Diana Sadaka kule nyuma kuna Asha tafadhali nafikiria pia kanisa mmejipanga kule nyuma ili tuendelee Arabla alimepeana huko
Mko na tinda. mchungaji uh, pastors robert koech na na ruben chirchir joseph koech na ruben chichi tafadhali msukuje hapa mbele endeni kule nyuma ndio mchukue sadaka asante shukran dj tafadhali twende Piga, piga. Yes, thank you very much. Mushimwa Rebu Arais, hiyo wimbo ilitungwa specifically for Mushimwa Chororot na familia. Hawa ni muungano wa makwaya wa hii area. Ambawa wanaimba wimbo. Wamekutana. Kila mtu kuna nyimbo zake hapo, lakini wamekutana kuhimba nyimbo. Um, kwa sasa, tunaenda kwa mazungumzo ya familia.
mheshimiwa naibu wa rais ah uh, wana cs uh, mulkomen our governor dr mutai uh, our women rep naona mheshimiwa wa kiongozi na jirani yangu mheshimiwa hilary uh, kuskei na wale wengine wote and all protocol of served waja ni wasalimu hamjambo hamjambo tena hebu bwana asifiwe ah uh, mheshimiwa naibu wa rais uh, tunakushukuru vile umekuja kuomboleza nasi umekuja kuungana nasi na tunasema asante nataka niwaonyeshe familia uh, yangu the nuclear family uh, wapate kuja hapa mbele au uh, kuwawe na maneno mengi tulikubaliana kama familia niwe nikiongea mengi na aongee machache hebu kujen mama mkuje <coughs> pia family ya rapture more mheshimiwa naibu ya wa rais na wageni ah uh, ndio familia yangu na ningependa kusema wakati mambo haya yalitendeka ah uh, when we lost Vincent on Tuesday early morning ah uh, we were all together wakati tulipata ujumbe sijui vile tuliungana lakini yote ni kwa sababu Mungu anaelewa hapa huyu ndio mke wangu Lili Cherorot anafikia atakuwa na jambo la kusema vile bishop Kotuta alikuwa anataja kuuzo wake acha niambie hata sisi tunafunguliwa gate na wake zetu karibu bwana asifiwe bas acha nichukue fursa nipate kumshukuru Uh, excellency uh, president na wageni wote ambao wako pamoja nazi siku ya leo tunataka kuchukua hii fursa kusema asante kwa kusimama nazi asante sana asante ni sana wale tu, wale tulikuwa na pamoja kwa li wale tumekuwa pamoja nyumbani hapa nyumbani na kila pahali wale watu litupatia messages masimu waje ni sema tu asante asante ni sana na tuliwashukuru tulijua kweli tuko na marafiki na sasa sile unatembea ama sasa ile wakati wa furaha ujui kama ni, ni marafiki ama ni, lakini wakati uko na shida ndio wakati huo sasa ndio utajua uko na marafiki na ni asanteni sana wale wa hapa nyumbani wa Nairobi wa kila pahali asante sana deputy president pelekea our excellency daktari William Ruto asante tu tuliongea akasema atakuja lakini ambia tulishukuru na tulipata pole sake na ni asante asante sana nilikuwa nimeambia nyinyi hao wana maneno mengi ah uh, felistas ambaye ni mke wa Vincent ah uh, Joe Semejambo mkifuatiwa na Stacy Your Excellency our dear deputy president um the MPs the honorables who are here present with us our bishops family and friends praise god i take this opportunity to give you thanks for joining us during this moment it has been a tough week for us and the family but i thank you all you've stood with us from Lee, home at the harambe and here today i welcome you all today and thank you so much and god bless you Santa Sana Felistas Stacy you have something to say Thank you all for coming I would like to say I hope this is not the last time we'll be seeing you here we expect to see you more your honor thank you for coming here today and everyone else thank you for the comfort that you have given on to us we will also be with you guys in the future during your difficult times thank you for everything thank you stacy 
Ah, uh, what I need to learn it. I love who I introduce. Uh, Wilta, Wilta is here. Wilta, Karibu Wilta, this is our daughter. Uh, Honorable the Deputy President of the Republic, Honorable Members present, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wilta Cherorot, brother to Vincent Mutai. I'd like to appreciate each and every one of you for your support. It's highly appreciated. Thank you, and God bless you. Okay, Leonard. So could you have an affordable protocol when I'm going to Your Excellency, the Governor, the CS, and all protocol observe. I'm Leonard Mutai, the last born in the family. Na hapa niko na na mama nadhani mama umesikia vile bishop amesema nitakuwa nakuja na karatasi sitakuwa tena natuma nitakuwa nakuja na karatasi na karibu Evelyn this is my spouse your excellency honorable rigadi gashagwa all members present friends and relatives i'll take this opportunity to thank all of you for your love for your support you've been with moshimiwa's family all through we don't take it for granted. May God keep blessing you. May he replenish your pockets. With us, we have our son, Jaden. Praise the Lord. I just want to take this time to say thank you for everybody for coming here. We want to say thank you for coming here to comfort us. In the future, we'll also be there for you. Thank you. Thank you. After Jaden, we have Jason. I think in somewhere they are playing. We are really grateful for coming. Na asanteni, asanti, asanti. Okay, let me ask the rest of the members uh, of, of, from Jamal's family, Simameni Wote, all the relatives, Musimame Maali Molipo Hapo. Nafikini mutakuja hapa mbele, kujeni pole pole, kujeni hapa mbele. Just take a photo and then uh, uh, Bor, uh, Dr. Harry Bor, will talk on behalf of the whole, the entire family. Okay, Philip, Mukaguja Pande, Philip Bor, Kujeni, this side. No, no, so much again, please. Mite tante triana, ungi bunun yun ano hawa ngi mosero, ago chao ko raka, amungo ngi kuro ngi kona na fast ni nega hawa ngi mosero chao gun, uban dero mati 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 ri kia ngi chao 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 ngi alaga, wili yep chao keti kase, full kuli, oh eh, ala, maje kiti ngi bar tegi lagi burtao ngi nuli, uban dero magiru, karu chao uto ngi mosero, kilenda gori tije in si ya te niango ke lagi liya maje kiti. So, cameraman, please kindly. Chitana Tumunyo, thank you very much. Cameraman, you've taken a photo, I guess.
Asante sana wamepiga picha rudi tunataka representative aongee. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigiji, if I'm allowed to call you so, um, Governor of this county, um, if I break the protocol, you forgive me, Honorable Murkomen, our CS, all the dignitaries who are here, MPs, our women rep, and all the government dignitaries, Hamjambo. Buana Yesu Asifiwe. On behalf of our family, the Jim Moore's family, where my brother is born, we want to say we are thankful indeed for everybody who has come here, led by His Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. We are honored. We are thankful indeed for your presence and support. And we want to ask God to continue uh, giving all the leaders of this country the grace and the wisdom to continue guiding us and leading this country into greater heights of um, prosperity. On behalf of our family, I want to thank my brother here and also tell him to take heart. The wife of uh, our, our son, Pole, kwa familia, and we want to encourage you to continue to kwa pamoja uh, Stacy and the mother Mungo aendele kwa fariji kwa Cherorot and the entire family. We want to tell you the word of God tells us that we can only get solace and comfort from God. Kuna mtu moja aliandika kitabu chake anaitwa uh, C.S. Lewis a book entitled Mere Christianity he said, comfort is not, it's never found by be, be, being uh, sought for. The only thing you can do is to get comfort by looking for the truth. And the truth is found in the word of God. The truth in everything that we are asking ourselves is coming from the word of God. So I want to encourage the family to go and look for the truth, which will give you comfort, which will give you the grace, and the energy to forge ahead. Otherwise, we are thankful, and may God bless all the friends and the mourners who have come to celebrate with us the life of our son, Poleni Mungu Afarij. Asante sana, Bor. Nataka familia felistas musimame maale mulipo. We have the in-laws wavini musimame tu maale mulipo. We have uh, mother-in-law to Fini, Akopale. Uh, we have the brother-in-law Mike and the rest of the team. Nataka tu Mue Vivi. Asante ni sana. Watch up here. Uh, Your Excellency, you, I have the bigger family and that is Kipkelion East constituency. Nataka tu Mueke Mikono Hivi. What wa Kipkelion East? Asante ni sana. This is a big family where I represent them in the parliament. I'm so humbled by your coming and also uh, the encouragement you've been giving us. Nashukuru, mumesimama na sisi, tangu haya maneno yalifanyika, you took over the place, na mukafanya kazi bila hata kuwa directed, ama kuonyeshwa, vili jinsi ya kufanya, lakini mumesimama na sisi. Ninasema kwamba, ninawashukuru sana, na wale wote ambaye mungana nami. Mwishumu wa makamu wa rais, wen rafiki wa karibu. Na ningependa tu kusema pia, rais mwenyewe, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, alinipigia simu la Sunday, na tukwa ongea na hatha akasema wanipatia ni ongea na mama. And peleka a Sunday yetu wake, ambia we are so grateful for what he did to us. And I know, uh, You've also done a lot to us. God bless you so much. Asante ni sana. Mungu wapate kwa bariki. Thank you.
nikipeta tu kwa ufupi mike just come and uh, talk on behalf of uh, the entire in laws of ini Okay, Mike lost his voice, and I knew about that. So I thought it was a miracle which happened last night. I can't remember about the miracle I just had. So uh, Esther, uh, the sister-in-law to Bini, just come. Excellency, Regiji, all protocols observed. Uh, I want to thank you all for standing with the family and my sister's family. Uh, receive our greetings from Kitui family. And uh, Felistas, I want to tell you that you are lucky you got Moshimiwa and Mama there. And I know they're going to hold your hand, and I know you are safe hands. So always stand with the family, take care of Stacy, and anytime you need anything from us, always call us, we'll always be there for you. Thank you so much. Asante Nisana, thank you so much, Asante thank you. Asante sana mheshimiwa umechukua kweli muda fupi na you've tried your best it's not easy to lose a son now um vile mmeona familia housekeeping ikifika wakati ya MCS tafadhali maneno ya development unaongea kwa baraza so leo hapa tunakuja kuomboleza tafuta baraza yako ile ndogo mahali sote hiyo maneno hapa tunasema pole na tumalize na twende Sindio anaona yeye? Wala mama tu yen magura. Yes. Um I'm being reminded actually I was headed there. Ah uh, thank you very much. Um we're reading from the same script. So um Kabrak team who are in school together with Stacy where are you the young oh yeah stand up kind of stand up to pigie makofi to pigie makofi those are the schoolmates ya yeah, Stacy Stacy ni mtoto ya marehemu asante sana may god bless you so much na tunawatambua may god bless you so much there's also a team from LSK where are you kindly stand up where you are and Kampala International University your excellency they they offered to pay the school fees for Stacy all the way and they have actually done it i made sure they did it we, we made sure they came now uh, your fellow senior lawyer kipchuma muruko men has asked for one person to come and speak on your behalf begin uh, one person kindly come from lsk and i'm giving you one minute i'll be standing behind you yeye ni ile inaitwa kujuana sasa unajua Senior lawyer kwa hapa amewana wakili wake tafadhali aongee eh tusisome speech tuseme tu moja and then uh, the deputy president republic of kenya dignitaries present and fellow mourners good morning Oh, sorry good afternoon ujumbe wetu ni mfupi sana kutoka LSK pamoja na familia ya Vincent who happened to have been my classmate it's been a very sad moment he was very close to us but we cannot claim that we are the ones who are most hurt 
by his death. To all of you who are here, receive our condolence message. The president of LSK sent me, but I will not read the speech. But all we want to assure the family is that through the Advocates Benevolence uh, Association, Law Society will chip into the education of Stacy. LSK will also stand by the family year in, year out. This is a tradition we've had. My seniors here, uh, CS Kipchumba will confirm that. And uh, I think for those many or few remarks, uh, thank you very much, Asanteni. Begin my coffee. Na ile makesi ya LSK kukotini mutoi pia leo. Alafu zarakali ya delevu zuri. Sindio? Asante sana. Now, from Kabarak, I want to welcome Reverend Chef Njoro Simon. Just one word, kindly. Reverend Chef Njoro from Kabarak on behalf of the Kabarak fraternity. Just one second, thank you. Yeah, Your Excellency, sir, the second president of the Republic of Kenya, uh, all protocol observed. I want to take this opportunity to greet you all in Jesus' name. Praise God. So on behalf of the Kabarak family, uh, where Stacy is schooling, we have just come to condole with you to say, Pole, for what has happened to the family, for losing uh, one of the members of the family. We just brought our condolence from the school, uh, the A teacher, and the entire school. They say we want to pray that the Lord will give you the strength at this time of uh, need. The Lord continue to strengthen you. I know it is not easy to lose a father, to lose a husband, to lose a father, and also relative of the families of Chererot. We just want to say, may the Lord comfort you at this time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, for housekeeping, we have to have one minute, and then because uh, our guest is leaving at around 2.30, so we need to be very, very strict. So from there, let me go to the speaker of the County Assembly of Kericho, and uh, you've seen the order, and uh, I know you are a good gentleman, and I know you are going to take the shortest time. Asante san. <clears throat> Your Excellency, the Deputy President, all uh, the mourners who are here, Bwana Yesu wasifiwe, Bwana Yesu wasifiwe tena, leo tumekuja kuomboleza pamoja na familia mwishimiwa Chirurut, kwa kupoteza mwanawe. So on behalf of myself, my family, and the County Assembly of Kiricho, nimekuja hapa ili tulie pamoja. Mwashimu wa Cherurot, uh, na familia, of course, mimi ni jirani wenu. We grew up together with Vincent, and we are really sorry for the loss of your son. Mimi na mwashimu wa Vincent, tulisoma shule moja ya Londiani Academy. Ingawa nilikuwa mbele, one year, lakini... Uh, tulikuwa marafiki na the only thing that separated us was yeye alikuwa na support team ya Chelsea na mimi nilikuwa na support Manchester United so mara mingi tulikuwa tunashindana na hata mnyi mnajua tulikuwa tunashinda kama manu tukiwa na kina Murkomen <laughs> Mheshimiwa your excellency the deputy president sita sema mingi Mheshimiwa Cherurot pia amekuwa rafiki yangu he has been my mentor, and in the past elections, we vied together for the position of the Member of Parliament. Na vile unawana mwashimiwa, Your Excellency, mwashimiwa Cheruro ni mwenye nyekevu sana. Ni mutu wambaye, ana maneno mingi, na mutu mwenye awezi tusi mutu. Sasa, vile ilienda na mna hiyo, mi nikaona pia sababu yu mzee ni mwenye nyekevu sana, heri ni wachie, alafu mi ngangane hapo na mambo ya hasla hapo mbelu. Na mimi ni kashukuru mungu, mukanishika mukono, diposa leo, ni mimi ni speaker wa county assembly. As I finish, Your Excellency, 
I want to sincerely thank you for a few issues. Number one is Wakati Tulichagua, uh, Your Excellency the Governor, Akaunda Serikali, MCSP Wakafika, Tukafika, Kidogo Tukakua na Mambo Mbili Tatu, Ambaye We Mwenye Unajua Pamoja na Rais. I want to sincerely thank you kwa ile peace that you mediated between us baka siku ya leo serikali ya county imesimama imara na sisi tuna uh, kwamba we are working hard to ensure that the residents of the Kiricho uh, get uh, their services. Your Excellency, um, uh, lastly, is that we want also to thank you for being here today. Umekua rafiki wa sisi, wa karibu, ulikuja pia wakati tulikuwa na shida ya Londiani pale junction ukakuja ukatusaidia kutuchangishia pesa tunasema asante sana mwisho tunasema pia asante kwa kusimama na familia ya mheshimiwa Cherorot na tunasema ni asante sana so your excellency i'll take this very brief moment niite waheshimiwa MCS wenye hako wako hapa alafu ni watambue and then i will just give one or two waonge uh, uh, just a minute each Washimwa MCS to Arakisha, let us keep time. Karibu. So, Nita Omba tu, um, I have been requested that Washimwa uh, Gikonyo will speak on behalf of the minority. So, uh, to Arakisha, alafu, Washimwa majority leader, ataongea pia, uh, kwa niaba ya assembly, na Washimwa Paul Chirchir. So, I, I want the rest, tunasema tu jina, na tunasema pole. And then uh, in that order, Moshimua Gikonyo, and then uh, we proceed. And then, uh, of course, I'll give the area MCA uh, Moshimua Vincent. Just a minute each. Uh, familia ya Moshimua Wetu Cherorot, our Deputy President, uh, Cabinet Secretary of Mawako Hapa, all protocols observed. Nataka kusema pole kwa Moshimua Wetu Cherorot, pole kwa familia yake, pole kwa Vincent, Na pole kwa watu wote wakipukili on east. Mina taa kusema hivi kwa niaba ya watu wa londiani. Watu wote wa londiani mahali mpo. Nataka museme pole. Eh, mwishimiwa. Eh... Mwishimiwa Cherurot. Na anatoka kwa familia eh, mzee anaitua Chumo. Ambaye alikuwa counselor for over 35 years. Uh, tuko na mwishimiwa Jessica. Anatoka huko Litein. Asante sana. Tuko na mwishimua deputy majority whip, anaitua fancy, anatoka huko chaikward, asante sana. Tuko na mwishimua Moses, Moses anatoka hapa ni jirani wa tendeno soget, uh, asante sana. Tuko na mwishimua Anton Li Ruto, chingili babanyun, anatoka hapa kipkilion, asante sana. Tuko na mwishimua Irene, uh, kutoka huko Belgut, uh, chapter of the Serated Ward, asante sana. Tuko na mweshimiwa anaitua broker. Huyu mweshimiwa ni broker na anatoka huko Tebesonik. Pia hea alikuja na hile bila number plate, lakini sahi anasema UDA. Asante sana. Tuko na sasa mweshimiwa kikonyo, aunge. Alafu sasa nitaita hawa wa, waseme tuwa mini tuwatoku. Uh, you are excellency, deputy Rigiji, our governor, members of parliament, MCS, Na wana inchi yote. Hamjambu. Bona asifiwe. Kwa sakabisa nataka nipeane pole zangu. On behalf of all the minority. Ambao wako katika hii area yetu ya Kericho County. Tunasema muheshimi wa pole sana. Na tunasema mungu aendere kukufariji. Na kutie ngufu katika hii wakati mungumu sana. Nataka nishukuru wageni wote. Ambao wamesimama pamoja na mweshimiwa wetu. Hari hii rikuwa ngumu. Lakini mungu ametufariji na ametuwezesha. Asante sana rigiji. Kwa sababu ya kusimama na mweshimiwa wetu. Mungu aendere kuwabariki. Na abariki inchi yetu Kenya. Mungu wa wabariki sana. Asante ini. Asante. Your Excellency mbele yako. I know you know them. This is the majority leader ambaye nye tutuliweka huko Arambe. Na huu mungida amesimama, alikuwa majority pia na unajua vile mambo ilienda. Unajua Kiricho County, tumekua na majority leaders wengi. Sana baka sisi hata wengine tulikuwa tunashanga. Hata mimi kidogo niliakt one day, your excellency. Lakini tunashukuru mwenyezi mungu. So a minute each, please. Thank you very much, Puana Speaker. Your excellency, the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, 
uh, our CS, all protocols of SAF, wananji. Pwana yetu asifiwe. Asante sana. Langu tu, Your Excellency, ni kusema neno la pole kwa mwishimi wa chirurutu, kwa kumpoteza kijana wake. Ambaye ni warika yangu. Langu tu ni kusema pole, kuambia familia pamoja na majirani na marafiki sote. Ya pili, Your Excellency, thank you for coming. And thank you for being a friend and a close friend to Mwishimi wa Cherorot and the entire leadership of Kericho. We want to say thank you. You have been with us. You have been coming to see us. Yetu tu ni kushukuru na kusema pia mwenye simungu akujalie mema. Asande pia kwa kuendelea kushikilia hii serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza. Tunashikilia tukiwa hapa chini. Na Your Excellency, I want to confirm to you that Kericho is now on the right trajectory on issues to do with development and harmony. Yangu tu ni kusema asanti na mwenye si mungu wa Kwa majina na hito wa Philip Rono, mindi leader of majority and MCA representing Kamasha and Ward in Kipkeli and West constituency. Asante ni san. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, familia Mwishimua Jeruroth, Waishimiwa na waishimiwa na inji. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina na ito Tarimbo. Natoka panda ile ya Kapsoit. Langu ni kusema tu poleni sana kwa family. Kwa yale ambayo yali wapata. Tumekuja kusimama nanyi. Na tunashukuru ya naibu wa Rais. Kwa sababu ya kuwa rafiki wa ukweli. Umekua ulasimama na sisi ule wakati mwingine. Leo na hata hapo mbele tunasema asanti sana. Nimesimama hapa kwa niaba ya wale watu wote wa chini Your Excellency. Wale wanajiita Kimitek. So niko hapa kwa niaba yao. So tunasema pole kabisa au wote wa chini wameniambia ni seme kwa niaba yao. So nimesimama kwa niaba ya watu wa chini wote kusema pole. Asante ni sana. Asante sana Your Excellency mwisho kabisa ni kwamba ukirudi huko Nairobi Usalimie Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Mwabie sisi tuko nyuma yake, 100%. Once more, poleni sana familia Mwishimua Cherurot. Tuko pamoja na mwenyezi mungu hatawafarijia. Santeni sana. Thank you so much. Pigieni makofi MCS wamefanya kazi mzuri sana. Kwa muda huu, nitaita Mwishimua Hilary Koske, MP wa Kipkelian West. Alafu vile vile utatambua by show of hands, the board directors when you are mimi ni moja yao. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. I'm the director of National Council for Population and Development. Na hiyo kazi tunaichapa vizuri. Asante sana. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and uh, all protocols observed, the family of Honorable Joseph Cherorot, uh, we are here to condole with you following the sudden demise of your son. I know I have never seen Cherorot this way, but it is, it is understandable. It is very painful to lose a son at that prime age when he is beginning to settle, to plan for his future and his family. So, Felistas, mine is to tell you God is right with you, he is right there with you to comfort you, to hold your hand, and your daughter Stacy. Good things are ahead of you. Tunawatakia kila laheri. Leo, Your Excellency, atutakuwa na maneno mengi ile ya siyasa yetu. Tumekuja kama bunge kusema pole to our colleague, na wabunge ni wengi, na wametoa msaada kubwa sana kwa hii kazi ambayo inaendelea siku ya leo na kwa niaba ya Joseph Cherorot ninataka kushukuru kabisa bunge la taifa ya Kenya na serikali kuu ikiongozwa na rais na wewe kwa msaada ambaye umetupa huyu Cherorot your excellency ile campaign ya juice he was ignored he was an underdog huyu Patrick Mutai na muile alikuwa former MP Limo ndio walikuwa wanagongana huko juu huyu akapita katikati na ule mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Joseph Limo akiambua Joseph wengine wakiambia sisi ni walimo anasema Joseph Joseph <laughs> kumaanisha 
hata mimi ni Joseph pigia mimi kura kwa sababu mshapigia yule na huyu mtu your excellency yako na kismat wakati alichaguliwa ile mabadiliko imeanza kuonekana katika constituency hii your excellency ile amefanya na ile ya serikali kuu ambayo ilikuwa inatusumbua pale mbele hii damu ya londiani your excellency mimi nilikuwa nimefanya public participation nikijaribu kuguza hapo inakuwa ngumu unajua ule bosi wako wa zamani uhuru kenyata pia alikuwa ngumu lakini wakati jeroro talichaguliwa mambo ikaanza kuenda nywe na ukatuambia hiyo tutanyorosha ingine your excellency ni referro liko hapa tumeshafanya masikizano na tukasema referro itajengwa hapa londiani kwa sababu cheroro ako na kismat na hawezi kujiombea maneno your excellency lakini watu kikuja ofisi yako iko kwa barabara moja yake tu najua mambo ni mengi na masaa ni machache barabara moja hii anaimba ya kutoka hapa kwenda makutano hiyo hapo mbele your excellency ndio ombi ya watu wa Kipkelionist na mimi nasema hiyo waziri wa barabara akiwa hapa ili akukumbushe na tunakuomba your excellency sisi tunataka ukuje tukupe kashamba hapa ukae hapa ukue nyumbani kwa sababu tunajua hapo mbele kwako ni mzuri ili ukae pamoja na sisi sisi hatutataka kutafuta rais yote wewe tu, ukiwa hapa wewe ndio representative ya entire Rift Valley na Kenya so za ile uko hapa uko nyumbani nilikuwa nataka ku correct speaker anasema iko kwa niaba ya minority hii kericho haina minority hii ni minority tu ya kupata viti minority wenye tunajua ni ogiek peke yake ambao wanakubaliwa na katiba hawa wengine wote ni wananchi wa Kenya na wako na rusa kufanya biashara kuishi kila mahali kutafuta mali kuomba viti na kuendesha maisha yao your excellency e, tuko na wajumbe wengi siku ya leo na nafikiri itakuwa vema najua sijui kama watachunga saa waseme tu jina kwa sababu pia ni colleagues jina na neno la pole wakuje hapa wote hapa mbele members of the national assembly and be very very fast karibuni hapa na wakati wanakuja your excellency wakati ulichukua serikali unajua wewe ukasema hii mambo ya shares tumepata shares kidogo iko board members wengi hapa nataka wasimame wa wave tu pale wako wajue ile serikali walipanda wa, iko na mavuno lili former dg huyo ni chairman chairperson wetu wa KIA Kenya Industrial Estates Vincent Kigen huyo ni chairman wa National Employment Authority uh, uh, Alvin Kibet huyo ni board member wa Kera na Kuria mwenyewe huyo pia amekuwa akiomba kura hapa your excellency yeye ni board member wa environmental tribunal asante sana so karibu One minute. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Familia ya Mwishimiwa, Chero Road, Wageni wa Ishimiwa Wote, Jina Langu ni Justice Kemei, Mini Mjumbe wa Sigawetso in Constituency. Na siku ya leo, Naibwa Rais, tutakuwa na maneno machache sana kumtakia pole huyu rafiki yetu na kiongozi mwenzetu na nikimaliza naibu wa rais najua nitakuwa na vita na Liza Chelule nisipofanya jambo lo moja mheshimiwa Liza Chelule mke wangu mpendwa Sara Kemei yuko pale nisije nikaita lile jina lingine ambao wewe mwenyewe siku moja ulinikana sana asanteni Mungu awabariki Uh, your Excellency, the De Deputy President, Familia ya Rafiki Yangu, Mweshimiwa Chirorot, uh, Mrs. Finson, Namtoto Stacy, Jami Jama Yote ya Familia Chirorot, Wananji Wote, our colleagues, 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, mimi naitwa Ambassador Benjamin Langat mjumbe wa aina moi kule Kericho Town. Nimelete pole sangu na watu wa aina moi. Nasema pole sana. Sina maneno mengi nilikuwa hapa tangu jana usiku mpaka saa 4. Tukasiki sana na watu ya Londiani hapa. Tulisema wageni ni wanani? Wageni ni wanani? Ni wetu. Na mimi nataka kuwapatia A+ plus. kwa sababu mmefanya vile tulisema wageni wamefurahia mwakaribisha hawa. Mheshimiwa Gerard, you have suffered the greatest loss. Tumekuja kusimama kama we, uh, kama ndugu yetu. We pray for you, we pray for your strength. Gerard is a very humble person. And nilikuwa namwambia jana I think between me and you maybe we are brothers in terms of uh, humility. So nataka kusema pole sana ndugu yangu. Um, may God give you strength. Otherwise to wananchi <laughs> to wananchi wa Londiani asanteni sana. Mungu atupariki. Um, all colleagues who have come here asanteni sana. Nataka kushukuru mheshimiwa Hilary in a special way. Alitupanga kule Nairobi kama colleagues ili tuweze kutoa msaada. Asante sana mheshimiwa Hilary umefanya kazi mzuri na pia umesimama hapa. Uh, asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, majina naitwa Kibet Kiruiko Mingoi, mjumbe wa Bureti. Eh nataya macha wikicho wa Kongoi, akamwachi pole familia ni bache rorot. Eh on behalf ni babiga Bureti, ak pik tugul chaba gericho ke macha ke mwamu cha missing en kapeteta eh, Vincent Felista tunasema pole sana. Uh, on our behalf that uh, God will stand with you because that is the promise of his word that he will be with you in all things maneno mengine tutazidi kuendelea lakini one thing that we wanted to let the government be aware is that uh, your excellency the deputy president you are aware about the program that is ongoing about the inua jamii program which our people really have appreciated e kuregister waze uh, jambo la muhimu ni kuelezea pia serikali kwamba kuna allotment ulipatiwa ya the disabled and those who are vulnerable communities we have found that numbers that are allocated to our locations and the constituencies to be too low and we want to ask the government to review its program through the social protection program to increase those numbers so that the people who are unable who are not who are disabled and are unable to be vetted because of the allocations be part of the communities that are being assisted by the government. Otherwise, Your Excellency, thank you very much for coming. You have become a friend and, uh, and a member of our community, and we want to tell you that we will be part of you, part of the journey and part of the work that you're doing. And we will support you in all things. We also will invite you to the other parts of Kericho, especially the lower region of Bureti, to be among us to celebrate the goodness of God, even in the period that the Lord will allow us to be a part of it. Finally, to the church, I want to say thank you for the prayers and thank you for standing with us and for being a part of this congregation in the things that we do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Mushimua Rigadi Gachagua, Mushimua Chirorot na family, Pipia Marehemu, Mimi na watu wengi wengine wageni wote mimi ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii your excellency kutoa rambi rambi kwa familia ya Chirorot tumekuwa na yeye Nairobi na yeye amekuwa rafiki ya kila mtu katika bunge kwa niaba ya family yangu na watu ya Soti constituency mimi ningependa kusema pole sana tumekuwa na wewe Nairobi na tuliona vile wewe ulihusika na usunika katika kifo cha kichana yako. Mungu awabariki hata mtoto wa marehemu na bibi wake tunajua Mungu atawachunga. Your Excellency, mimi ningependa kutaja tu kitu kimoja ambacho mheshimiwa wa Bureti amesema mambo ya inua jamii tumekuwa nyumbani huko Sotik na watu wanasema ya kwamba ile namba ambayo tulipewa ya watu wa kufaidika na mambo ya inua jamii ni kidogo mno na tungependa labda ukirudi unaweza kutusaidia kuongeza kidogo 
Otherwise, tungependa kushukuru wewe na kuunga mkono wenzangu kwa kusema ya kwamba unakaribishwa kila wakati. Huko Bomet tuko na date na wewe. And I know you are coming. Thank you so much. Bwana Jerorot, mutia bwana. Aglo aguku. Ngo tore tipta ya. Deputy President, all protocols of soft. Nataka kwanza ni pia ni pole zangu mingi kwa familia ya Chororot. Na pia ni pata na fasi, Your Excellency, ni kushukuru. Mukiwa na President, sababu umesimama na sisi wa mbunge. Na pia ni shukuru ata mimi kama charity, kathambi chabukonye MP Wanjoro. Mulisimama na mimi na President kwa kupoteza mzee wangu. Na diyo nimekuja kuencourage my sister. Eh, wacha tutumikia mwenyezi mungu, tuombe familia zetu. Na your excellency ni seme shukran kwa vile mmeweza kusimama nasi wakati tunalia. God bless you. Uh, Sande sana your excellency. Uh, mimi naitua majimbo kalasinga. Mimi ni mbunge wa kabuchai toka bungoma. Kuja leo kusema pole mwishmiwa Joseph. We serve together in the same committee, receive the condolences, the committee of special funds accounts committee, uh, the committee on regional development. Pole sana mwishmiwa. Moja tu, Mikae, your excellency the deputy president. Nataka mimi kutoka bungoma, nika shukuru wewe. Kwa kuamua na kusimama na kijana we Dr. William Samueru na kudeliver the votes. You did a serious work. And we know. Na pia tumeanza kukumis, Mr. Deputy President. Last week, Patuani, you are in Western. Together with the, deputy, we are with the President. Already tumeanza kukumis. Tuli, na nimesikia hapa jambo moja kwamba na taftiwa waka nyumba huku. Mimi nilikuwa nimekupatia nyumba chwele wana. Sasa ya chwele utafanyaji, lakini yote ni nyumba lako. Your Excellency, thank you for moving. And this is the way to go. Finally, eh, ataka kusema ni kitu moja, Rice, Deputy President. Sisi, tunacheza mpira. Mcheza achi akipiwa penalt, afunge, anaenda kukaa katikati ya wanja. The next, anakuja kufunga. Sasa mi najua penalty ya mwisho na Dr. William Ruto inaenda kufungwa. Wewe anza kufunga socks, ingia uniform, be next on the line. Young members of parliament wakiungozwa na majimbo kalasinga, mimi ndiyo nitakuwa naweka kitabu ya shareholders. Wakati yako ikifika umesimiwa rice. Asande, na kwa sababu right reverend Bishop Kotut. Wakati ulisema na ukasema mama ndi alifungulia wewe get. Jana. Nimeamua leo kusawadi mama mwenye alifungulia jana get mpele fukumi. Sasa hii nitapea yeye mwenyewe. Sasa mama nyo mutio. Nyo nyo nba. E nyo no. Asandi na mungu wa amani ya Thank you. Thank you very much. Asante sana, Your Excellency. Kwa manjina naitua John Paul Mwirigi, kutoka kule Meru, Egembe South Constituency. Yule kijana mwaka wa 2017, mulimskia, hameingia mbungi ya kiuwa na baiskeli. Nimechaguliwa mara ya pili, na nawashukuru sana sababu kutoka eneo hili, mumeweza kutupatia mwingine ambaye ni mundogo kuniliko. Wanaesa sifiwe. Kwa hivyo leo hii nimefika hapa kuleta pole zangu kwa familia ya Joseph. Na niambie Joseph wakati huu najua ni wakati mgumu. Lakini kuna Mungu naye Mungu atazindi kuonekania hii familia. Kwa felicity ni kuambie pia Mungu yuko. Kuna mengi yale ambayo uh, mzee alikuwa anafanya kwa sasa hata kuwa ili ya kusaidia kuyafanya lakini Mungu naye hako kukuonyesha njia na kusaidia kuyafanya. Najua Mungu atasaidia hii familia itaweza kukua vizuri. 
na tuwashukuru sana sababu uh, mwaka uliopita wakati ambapo kulikuwa kugumu sana mliweza kusimama na William Ruto na sisi kutoka mlima tukaweza kusimama naye na leo hii mumeanza kuona tumeanza kupata matunda katika serikali hii na ni kuombe bwana deputy president hapa wakati mwingine uchaguzi ukiisha watu wanataka kugawiwa serikali na mimi kama mwakilishi wa kule igembe wakati ambapo naenda kuonana na rais ili anisaidie na muomba anisaidie msaanda wa wananchi wangu lakini tumeona kuna wabunge ambao wamefukuzwa kwa chama ila hali kuna mzee hapa anataka mazungumzo yaendelee yeye mwenyewe anufaike bwana deputy president ukirundi kule taja ama sema haya mazungumzo ambayo yanaendelea kwa sasa tuyaache sababu ni kujifanya tu ile hali mtu anajitakia yeye mwenyewe ataki wale viongozi wengine ambao wamechaguliwa waweze kunufaika na wanufaishe wananchi ambao waliwachagua ama namna gani sababu sio vyema kama mimi nimepata nafasi ya kuzungumza na rais na niko kwa chama yako wewe ukuje unifukuze sababu nimeweza kumfikia lakini wakati wewe unataka mazungumzo wewe waufukuzi kwa chama hayo mambo atuta ya kubali katika taifa hili na uchaguzi ukiisha umeisha unaanza kujipanga kwa uchaguzi ujao asante sana uh, thank you so much uh, mheshimiwa Cherorot na familia yako yote tumefika siku ya leo ili kuwatakia mema sitasema mengi pokea pia pole kutoka constituency yangu ya Chepalungu my name is Victor Koech the only member of parliament ambaye alipata kiti kwa sababu ya kuuza na kutengeneza mandazi thank you so much and god bless you Mwish, mwish rot, family yenu our deputy president eh, waziri ambao wako hapa governors wajumbe eh, my colleagues na wananchi wote bwana Yesu asifiwe leo hii tumekuja hapa kuomboleza na kusindikiza kijana wa Chirorot pole sana Chirorot na familia yako kwa kupoteza eh, kijana wako na eh, eh, tunasema pole sana tulikuwa huko Kisumu manene ya majani eh, manene ya sukari kama vile vilisikia president alitoa orders ya kusema mambo ni matatu so hiyo ni mambo tunajaribu kushughulikia najua itakuwa bunge hiyo inakuja e, sababu najua hii serikali ya Kenya Kwanza inashughulikia sana mambo ya wakulima pole sana kwa niaba yangu kwa niaba watu wangu wa Konoin tunasema pole sana pole Uh, mchane ya mwandasake Finsen pamoja na familia Chororot naibu wa rais ya Jamhuri ya Kenya baraza la mawaziri pamoja na wenzangu wa bunge na wananchi ya hapa nachukua nafasi hii kwa niaba yangu familia yangu na watu ya Baringo North kuambia rafiki yangu pole kwa kupoteza kichana wako mpendo wakili ambaye ameweza kufanya kazi ya wanasheria kwa muto mfupi vile Brighton amesema naibu wa rais sisi tulienda kushughulikia ku fix pandits ya shukari katika sehemu hiyo na tutaleta report ya kuhakikisha wa Kenya ambaye ni wakulima ya chai waweze kupata faida na kupata pesa ya kuchenga uchumi ya taifa ya Kenya. Mimi nitaka niseme tu pole kwa ndugu yangu cha Mungu ni mingi. Mungu atakusaidia chipe moyo. Kwetu ambaye tuko hai tusitu tuamini Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu tukipata tukienda tupata nafasi ya kwenda mbinguni. 
Mimi sitaki niseme kusidi hapo. Nimetembea sehemu hii ya Londiani kutoka huko. Kwa Germany kwa le Korea ni 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 bo ni bo chakula ni wool no uh, cost of living down mja wale njoko ngo ipika kusege samo mandene mandene soburi yomet ama ma wale yemi soburi yoni mimet wale chakula so bongezi ama omi ke bagenge na mja wale chakula na wakole chakula mkoroni kiripa che peit chakula jimi meta kule njinyula sama wapeit para kusege njoro mpaita Magi wulu ni mbeit, la yani kaya kula nyon shoro wal wal pik so kuchal so brai chikin to nomet, ako wal pik chome che cho imone pik am chama yao, wal wana fukusa watu kwa via mayao, wambe yo siyo demokrasia, hi ko tin tuna sanya kwa kenya ni yawa kenya wote, mwishimwa rais mwisho asante kwa kutushika mkono, nyinyi watu ya mlima, muli tushika mkono, na ikifika wakati tutawashika mkono, asante ni sana na mungu wa bariki. Asante sana. Uh, mwishimua debit president, mwishimua waziri, familia jerorot, uh, na fiongosi wa kanisa, all protocol of served. Buwana asifiwe. Ilo sinuatia iso. Asante sana. Ya kwanza kabisa nataka kutuwa rambi rambi sangu. Jerorot na kuambia pole sana. Mungu atakupariki na atakutia angufu. Wabipi wake na mtoto wake, mungu wa wapende na wasiti pia kukuinua. Mwishmua president, we want, eh, deputy president, we want to thank you. Tumiona kila wakati tunapokuwa na shida ama usuni ama, ama fura umesemama na sisi. Chusi tukipotesa watu yetu wapa londiani, ulikuja kukana na sisi na ulitufanya mchango. Mungu wa kubariki, we are here to support the na chenda. Asante ni sana na mungu wa wapariki. Ngu nikonga lego ingitio kesiki, anageba, kungu imisi. <laughs> Aya, aya. Uh, Your Excellency, our Deputy President, uh, Governor Wetu wa Kericho, uh, CS Wetu Bwana Murkomen, akiongoza ma CSS na ma PSS, uh, wajumbe wenzangu, Senator Sambayo wako hapa na wajumbe wenzangu katika National Assembly, family ya Cherorot, na wanaiji wote wa Kipkelion East. Mimi ni naitua Liza Chelule, mimi ni Mama County ya Nakuru, Na nimefika hapa mwishimu wa Cherorot kulete rizala zangu za rambi rambi. Yangu mi mwenyewe na ya family na ya Nakuru County. May God stand with you during this painful moment of tears. Tunaelewa kabisa kupoteza mtoto sio kitu raisi lili. Mungu akupatie nguvu, akupatie kila kitu ambaye unaitaji kwa sahi na family yote. You have a very beautiful family. Very beautiful family wenye wameka kabisa kiustarafu. Kwa hivyo mungu wapatie Neema yake na nguvu yake. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, we want to thank you for what you've been doing, both in Akuru County and in Kericho County. Juzi ulikuwa hapa kweli, mama na sisi, na hata ilikubidi usongeze mikutano zako mingi sana ambaye ulikuwa mepanga wakati tulifika hapa kwa hiyo maumbolezi kubwa ambaye tulikuwa tumepoteza watu wa hapa. Tunashukuru sana na tunashukuru kila mara tukiwa na kazi upande wa nakuru na upande wa kericho na kila sehemu ya Kenya tunashukuru sana kazi yako we want to tell you this yani uso kwa uso tu tukwambie tumefurahi na wewe ukirudi Nairobi usalimie president umweleze sisi tunampenda na tuko nyuma yenu na tunafurahia chinzi vile mmesimama na imani ya uongozi ya nje ya Kenya kusimama na uongozi ya nje ya Kenya mpaka tufike hii saa hii tumepita mitiani your excellency tumepita mitiani Tulipitia mashida nyingi sana baada ya election. Lakini saa hii, sasa kila kitu ni nyue. Tuko tiari tuende kazi. Nataka kusema tu. <coughs> nataka ku, 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 kusema. Um, sisi tukai kwa amani Watu ya Kenya. Sisi tuko na viongozi ambaye wanatufa. Tuko na viongozi ambaye wanatuongoza kwa njia mzuri. Tumefurai sana. Mimi nimefika hapa tu kusema. Pole, Cherorot, you have a very good family. Kuna hiyo family ndogo, tunataka to sikuwe hilo ogani. Otasila ogani. Fungua hiyo break ya watu. Pili, watu wa Kipkelion, pamocha na Kericho, tunasema pole. And thank you for standing with this great family. Chamok, 
Chamin Mushmu Abigap Kilion, Agogo Telel Gobotin, Aktaik Tugul to go Telelia, Gobota Mushmu Agemoi Gongoi. Ateleli, I'm standing on behalf of the many women who will not get chance here from Kericho, the youth, and even people living with disability that we've talked about. And Your Excellency, we want to say thank you that you've been coming to our county and I've count preferably you've been to Kipkelion and we say thank you. And looking at that, Your Excellency, I want to say this. There are three things. Maneno ni matatu. Ukuche upate shamba hapa, uchenge hapa, upate chami hapa, alafu siyo, siyo wengine ni do, pastor dockers, alafu tena upate china ingine hapa. Ni ukue wetu. Because we've seen this is where you belong most. And we support your, your, your government. And kiongesea your excellency, I want to say thank you so much for his excellency, the president and your government for hosting the African uh, summit, climate summit. This was international. As much as we are talking of African, I think we are no longer Kenyans. We are moving international. And I know things are happening. I say thank you. Thank you very much. Niki Malisia, I want to appreciate the Bishop of today for telling us more about family virtues. One thing that I caught is, Kama msea kuinje, mama usilale, ngochea umfungulie mulango. And that one, nikachiwekea niki, 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 niki tik, nikasema, that is what I've been doing. Ata wakisema weo ni mweshmiwa, akiingia, mimi siyo mweshmiwa. Tukiwa kwa nyumbani, iyo manene ya mweshmiwa inakanyuma. Ina so that one, ni sawa. Na, nasema pia, the women who have been making noise, I appreciate and I understand them, Your Excellency. Wakisema ukucha na paper pack ni ukweli. Because our mama wanaenda shampoo from morning to evening. Sasa wase pia to support those women. And this is where empowerment comes in. If our women are empowered, and Your Excellency, I know things will work well for us. Lakini hii fita ya usiku, na chuanga siyo ya paper pack, siyo ya nini, ugoi ten haki ni babi, siku mami teri rekewa usiku. Si mungo wapariki sana. And for for this referral hospital. I'm saying, to kiona hii, to kiona hii referral ikikucha londiani, I know many things will be, will be good. Once more, mutu ya missing, ngo tawareta wa chehova, ago beruro. Wakigura wa Beatrice Kemei, mama county ni bagiricho. Kongoi misi. Asante sana. Your Excellency, our Deputy President, our Cabinet Secretary, Mweshimua uh, Murkomen, our Governor, Chero Rot, na familia yako, Mweshimua wote ambao tuliwako hapa, na our clergy, na watu wote wa Kericho hapa Londiani, Buwana Asifiwe, uh, tume shukuru sana kufika hapa, siku ya leo kuomboleza na ndugu yetu, Chero Rot. Uh, Chero Rot, ni rafiki yangu sana. Na wakati huu, wadhiki, wakati wa shida, atungeweza kumuacha, lazima tungesimama pamoja nae. Tuliongea nae, nikamwelezea ntaja, ingawaje uh, siku ya leo nilikuwa nipitie pale mkuruweni. Kwa sababu pia mimi ni mwanafunzi halisi wa deputy president. Wana niambia, nitembe tembe, lakini kabla nitembe kwanza nifike mkuruweni. Your Excellency, hiyo ni nati kabisa. Nimetoka pale kuanzisha uh, wandikishaji wa inua jamii cash transfer kila asubuhi 8 am huwa ninafika pale mkoroini kuanzisha ile mpango na ninashukuru sana kwa sababu hii serikali yetu inaonekana uh, imeweza kuweka ahadi zake serikali ya Kenya kwanza ilisema ya kwamba itaweza kuandikisha uh, uh, kina mama na kina baba wale wazee watu pia wako na disabilities na pia wale ambao ni uh, orphans Na tukasema ya kwamba wataweza kuingizwa katika umpango wa inua jamii, cash transfer. Na tunaona ya kwamba hili ni jabu moja abalo limeweza kutimia. Na tunashukuru sana, Your Excellency. E, watu pale ground wanafurahia sana ule mpango na ndio mana pia sisi tumeupatia support. Ni kuwapa basi kutoa rabi rabi zangu kwa familia ya uh, rafiki yangu na pia, uh, pia uh, the wife to our late brother. Na tunasema ya kwamba mungu watie nguvu. Niko pia na rabi, rabi za our speaker wa National Assembly, uh, Mwishimiwa uh, Right Honorable Wetangula, 
ametoa rabirabi zake kwa familia yako mheshimiwa Cherorot na amesema ya kwamba Mungu watie nguvu alitaka sana awe pamoja nasi ingawaje haingewezekana siku ya leo na kwa hivyo mpokee rabirabi zake Your Excellency Deputy President mimi kwa niaba ya wajumbe hawa ningependa kukushukuru kwa sababu kila wakati sisi kama wajumbe tuko na shida tunakuona ukishirikiana pamoja nasi Juzi tu tumekuwa kule kwa ndugu yetu Kawaya ulikuwa pale na sisi tunashukuru sana leo uko hapa pamoja nasi tumekuwa pale kwa mheshimiwa Kapambi umetushikilia na tunashukuru sana our deputy president na tunajua kwamba hii unafanya pia kwa niamba ya rais wetu ambaye tulikuwa naye hapa hapa Nakuru wakati wa dada yetu Kapambi tunawashukuru sana kwa sababu ya vile mnafanya kazi na vile mnashukilia sisi na sisi tunaendelea pia kuwashikilia wananchi na vile pia mnashikilia wananchi mkiendelea kuweka ahadi ambazo tuliweka kwa mwisho ni ahadi ambayo umeweka ya kwamba wanafunzi ambao wanaenda katika chuo kikuu wataweza kuangaliwa maneno yao vizuri nimesikia watu wengine wanasema wanafanya harambe kwa sababu wanashindwa vile watoto wataenda uh, wataenda shule lakini ni seme kuna watu wengine wanakuwa a bit ignorant hawajaelewa ya kwamba ile school fees ambayo unapewa pale imeandikwa katika ile karatasi wewe unafaa kulipa 7% peke yake ile ingine yote inalipwa na serikali either kwa loan ama kwa scholarship na kwa hivyo hakuna haja ya harambe na waziri alisema watoto wote waingie shule kama serikali inaendelea kulipa ile school fees ile model your excellency tunaona ni mzuri na itasaidia wananchi wote wa, wananchi wote wa Kenya ndio tuweze kupata masomo kila mtu isipokuwa i mean tusipokuangalia pahali unatoka kama we ni wa familia maskini ama familia ya juu sisi wote sasa tuko uh, na haki ya masomo na tutaweza kupata ile masomo kwa ile uh, model ambayo imeletwa na serikali ya Kenya kwanza tunashukuru yote kwa hayo Mungu awabariki tunawapenda sana sisi watu wa mlima na tunafurahia sana kushirikiana nanyi kila siku asanteni na, na jina langu ni John Kagushia mheshimiwa MP Mukurweini Nyeri County Your Excellency wakati tulikuwa tunaendelea mwenzetu Oscar Kipchumba Sudi ambaye ni engineer wa kiwanja na siasa akafika so nataka tumechunga time kama bunge eh, kabla ya kumpa Your Excellency tuko na condolence na apology kutoka mbunge wetu wa Belgut Mheshimiwa Nelson Koech ambaye yako nje ya nchi kwa shughuli ya kiserikali na bunge na leader wetu wa majority ambaye ni seneta wa Kericho County Aaron Cheriot pia ambaye yako nje kwa shughuli ya serikali. Sudi. Asante sana. Kanisa letu takatifu la IC Bishop wetu na pastors wote. Your Excellency Rikiji, rafiki yangu Mheshimiwa Cheroro na familia yako mimi pia nimechelewa kidogo lakini naomba msamaha kanisa nimesikia umehubiri mambo mazuri yenye ningefaa kusikiza lakini kwa sababu ya mambo mengine yale na pale nimechelewa umenisamee nimekuja hapa kwa niaba ya familia yangu kwa niaba ya watu wa Kapseret na kwa niaba ya marafiki wengi wanyojafika hapa kusema pole kwa familia ya ndugu yetu mheshimiwa pole mama wetu mzazi na e, watoto wako wote mke wa ndugu yetu wakili na familia yote na viongozi wote walio hapa sisi wote tumekuja kusema pole najua kupotesa kijana mdogo kama huyu ni uchungu sana na najua yale mnapitia na tumesema sisi wote tukuje tuseme pole na hiyo ndio imetuleta hapa rafiki yetu Cherorot kusema pole sana kwa familia yako pia kwa mke wa wakili nataka nikwambie pole na mtoto wako na marafiki ya watoto wako najua ile usito mnapitia kwa kupotesa huyu wakili tulisikia wakili aligonjeka kwa muda mfupi sana na mnajua mambo ya kanza ni mambo ngumu imetatisa dunia msima nataka niseme tumekuja kusema pole sana sitaki kusema mingi kwa sababu nimechelewa nataka tu niongezee niambie your excellency hawa watu wa simu hii ni wakulima na yale mambo yako unasukuma ile ya mahindi kahawa majani chai na maziwa harakisha harakisha ndio watu ufanganishe hii watu wako na pesa kwa mfuko sisi wote hapa ni watu wa juu chini 
na tukipata bei mzuri mambo yanakuwa mzuri hii kilicho watu wangekuwa wangekuwa nafaa kununua magari mpya sisi wakulima wa mahindi tungekuwa sawa lakini unajua ile serikali nyingine vile maneno ilikuwa na unajua excellence mimi na wewe kama ile watu wengine wangepita wewe ungekuwa saa hii miezi yako ya sita kule sijui ungekuwa manyani ama ungekuwa area gani na mimi pia ningekuwa hapo miezi ile miezi tano. unajua sasa tushikane We ukuwa hapo kama deputy president mimi niko hapa kama engineer wa maneno tuunganishe hii maneno watu wapate pesa kwa mfuko asante sana Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki Your Excellency tuko na senators wawili peke yake hapa na kwa sababu sitataka kuongea tena I want to recognize uh, Viva Africa pali kijana yetu alikuwa anafanya kazi hebu simama muonekane Viva Africa wametawanyika kule Kenya National Union of Teachers na Kupet ambaye ni marafiki wakubwa wa Mheshimiwa Cherorot wako pale your excellency asante sana eh, kwa sababu sitaongea tena your excellency baada hii nitaamusha senator wa Bomet aseme mawili awakaribishe waziri wetu ili apatie nafasi governor akukaribishe alafu tutakuwa tumemaliza your excellency lakini umeona kazi yako umepitia hapa kwa mahindi mahindi imezaa mbili mbili tatu tatu wale wakora wa zamani walikuwa wanatupea mbolea enye wamechanganya na maram. Tukiweka kwa shamba tunafikiria tunaweka mbolea, tunaweka maram kwa mahindi. Sasa nyinyi ambaye mnajali wa kulima mumekuja mkatupea mbolea safi mwaka huu mtuchungie tu bei pesa tutaweka kwa mfuko. Wakati tunangojea ile ingine ya kahawa, ya miwa, ya maziwa na ya majani chai ambaye we know you are unrelenting. Wakati uli, watu walikuwa na wasiwasi wakasema hii mama anajifanyaga wakili ukanyorosha ye, tenil na ukalete serikali nyumbani Shikilia hapo your excellency tushikilie huyu waziri wako anaitwa Murkomen ndiye alikuwa anatushikilia hapa akiwa senator sasa tumemiss kwa sababu ulipeleka ye executive alafu ukreate hiyo bridge tembeaga na ye. ili akuambie ile makona tuko barabara mbaya Alafu nikikuambia moja unafinya yeye wa excellency alafu yote inakuwa mazuri kwa niaba ya watu wa Kericho na watu wa Kenya. Ulitusaidia sahi watu hapa chini unajua mimi naishi hapa Muhoroni. Na ile vita ilikuwa hapa watu wanafikiria ilikuwa mchezo. Siku ya maandamano. Ile vita iko kwa familia. Mzee na mama asubuhi wanangangania sufuria. Mama anataka kuwekelea chai kwa moto, mzee anataka kwenda na sufuria kwa maandamano. Hiyo sasa umetumalizia. Ile imebaki ni huu mzee wa kitendawili. Kwa sababu yeye ni kekeugeu na mimi nakubaliana wewe kwa sababu wewe ni truthful man. You don't like hypocrisy. How is it possible that wewe kama leader wa ODM unataka kuongea na serikali ya UDA na wale walishaona light wakakuja mbele yako kuongea na serikali badala uwapigie makofi uwape heko kwa kupata network sasa unawa expel where is the genuineness in this your excellency hata kama hii maneno ikiendelea hivi hajambo hata hii toxic tubiliwe mbali kila mtu akae kwake raila angoja 2027 tumufurushe ya mwisho siku ile wewe unakuja 2032 hiyo mzee atakuwa kwa hii area atakuwa akikuonea kwa view sasa Asante sana your excellency sasa nataka kumkaribisha senator wa Bomet aendelee kutoka hapo kwa ufupi Asanteni sana kwa wale wanijui mimi naitwa Hillary Arab Koske MP wa Kipkelion West hapa chini Asante Your excellency the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya honorable Rigathi Gashagwa familia ya mwanzetu eh, mheshimiwa wa Cherorot Felistas na Stacy na familia kwa jumla Ningetaka kusema tumekuja ili tulie pamoja na nyinyi siku ya leo na nataka kukushukuru your excellency for standing with us uh, my colleagues in Joyce is here and uh, I will say a few then uh, as uh, I'll ask actually to come just come uh, Senator Joyce 
We are both from Pomet. Senator Joyce sits with me in the Senate as a nominated senator. She's the vice chair of the Parliamentary Service Commission, and we work as a team. Senator Karibu Useme Polizako. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, all protocol observed, the church. Allow me to take this opportunity to say a word of pole to Mwishimua and family. Niseme pole ni sana kwa kupotesa mtoto wenyu. Na pia kushukuru wabunge wenzangu. His Excellency, the President, the Deputy President, na serikali kwa uchumla, kwa, simama, kwa kusimama na familia gidete katika wakati huu mgumu. Ningependa kusema mwishimua cherorot ni mwishimua moja ambaye tunampenda kule bungeni kwa sababu kila mara wakati tunapo kuwa na masungumuzo kama wajumbe. Eu kuanga kipao mbele kwa kutetea maslai ya watu wa hapa uh, kipkelion. Mwishimua ningependa kusema pole sana. Mama pole sana, wacha mwenye, mwenye mungu aendele kuwa nanyi. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, allow me, niku, nikupalie pia kusema, shukrani kwa serikali kwa ile kazi ambaye munafanya. Wengi wameongea, na ningependa kusema sita wangelelea mambo ya pei ya maindi. Yangu kabisa, Your Excellency, ni kuomba, wese kuongea na magovernors, Ile maindi inapo pika kule serials, siweze kufika pale kwa constituencies. Ile maazlas waweze kufikia kwa sababu wako na jangamoto kwenda kutafuta kule uh, serials, your excellency. Iyo, an anamotu nye tabu, nabaka ya soro maandeka eno lilo? Poswe, toti nye tabu? So, amachawa soam, your excellency, I want to request your excellency, usaidie ya kwamba uonge na governors, waweze pia kutusaidia kutufikishia hiyo fertilizer kule kichichini. Mwisho kabisa ni kusema ya kwamba siasa mumemaliza. Mambo ya Raila amekuwa kitutatisa mara mwaka nenda mwaka rudi. Lakini ningependa kusema your excellency. Sisi kama serikali tunakuaminia kwa sababu umesimama kidete na his excellency the president. Na tunajua ile kasi unafanya. Na wacha tukuhakikishie kama the current nation especially the Rift Valley Nation. Waja ni kwa kikishie. Ya kwamba tutasimama na wewe, mbaka wakati tutasema ya kwamba, ni wakati wako sasa wakuingia, uwa na wakikisho ya kwamba, sisi tuko nyuma yako. Ile kasi unafanya, hakuna mwana umemungina anaweza. Hata wewe ukisimama, ile mapigano sahi inaendelea kenya mzima. Awapigi tena president, awapigi wabunge, wanakupiga kwa sababu, wewe unatosha, ukiangukiguruma moja, wanasikiza na wanati. So hii mchezo wanaleta hii saa hii ya hii mambo ya, 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 ya party issues. Enyo wanaleta saa hii wanataa ku, kujaribu kutisha tisha wa jumbe. Hiyo shio tisho. Wacha wafuguze hao, wacha waenda nyumbani, tutaenda kufanya campaign nuko, tuwaonyeshe 2027, atuna campaign tena, nukupita, tukipita na tukiendanga. Sande na mungu wabariki. Asante sana eh, mwenzangu, Senator Joyce Koriri. Your Excellency, once again, eh, before I give my condolence, Ms. Machero Rot, Nimetumwa na Risala Zarambirambi, na my colleague uh, Mushimiwa Richard Kilel, Kutoka Bomet Central, Mbai Hangeweza Kukua Pamoja na Sisi Siku Yaleo, Akona Nyinyi Kwa Maumbi, Alikuwa Pamoja na Sisi Wakati Ule Tukotu Napanga Mpango Hua Siku Yaleo. Ya Pili Pia, Nimetumwa na Risala Zarambirambi, na Mushimiwa Tonkei, Women Rep. Wanarok County, Amezidi Pia Kwa Umbea, Amesema Anautakia Mema, Siku hii tukimlaza ndugu yetu Vincent. Na ya tatu ni kuna Rizala Zarambirambi kutoka kwa mwishima Rita Tiagon kutoka Bomet East ambaye pia hangeweza kukua na sisi siku ya leo kwa sababu jana alipoteza ndugu yake tukiwa pale Nairobi Hospital lakiwa na mtoto mgonjwa ambaye tulikuwa pamoja na yeye. Amesema pole, anawatakia pia mema na nataka tuombe pia tumpe pia eh, Rizala zetu kwa kupoteza ndugu yake. Eh, la pili, eh, Your Excellency, nimeka hapa umesikia mwishima Hillary ya mesema kiongozi wa wengi kutoka Senate 
Aaron Cheruiyota yuko pamoja na sisi kwa sababu yuko kwa official assignment outside the country. Sasa pale nilikuwa nimekaa kwa kiti ya majority leader na nikasikia iko sawa. Isipokuwa vile Kalasinga alifika nikaona mimi mwenyeji waja nimpe nafasi ule mwenzangu ametoka huko ili akalie hiyo kiti ya kiongozi ya wengi pale Senate. Lakini hata hivyo eh, Your Excellency ningependa pia kukushukuru umekuja kukaa pamoja na sisi umesimama pamoja na sisi kutoka wakati ule janga hili lilipotokea Mheshimiwa Cherrot ni baba yangu mimi ni mmoja wa familia kwa hivyo tumesikia uzito wakati juzi tukifanya fundraising pale Nairobi nataka kusema asante kwa sababu ulisimama pamoja na sisi na pia rais alisimama pamoja na sisi na leo pia umetufuata ili tuweze tunayapitia kwa siku ya leo Huyu ndugu yangu hapa Vincent akiwa amelala sahi, wengi wanalia. Lakini cha muhimu ni ile uh, Bishop uh, Kututu litueleza kwamba the only problem that we have is neverness. Never, neverness kumaanisha kwamba Vincent haizi akakuwa na sisi siku ya leo, hasiki yale tunayasema mazuri kumhusu, hawezi kesho pia kuamka kusikia tulisema nini na pia sisi hatuwezi tukapata nafasi siku nyingine kumwona ile kitu ningependa kusema tu kwa familia the nuclear family to Cherorot Mwenyezi Mungu amlaze huyu ndugu yangu ambaye ni ndugu yangu kwa mara tatu I am a lawyer by profession so I've lost a colleague in the Kipsigi land hatukuangi wengi kupotesa moja tumepotesa tumepata msiba kubwa la pili ni ndugu yangu kwa hivyo Mheshimiwa Rais Mheshimiwa uh, Naibu Rais tunasema ni asante kwa sababu kumekuja kwako inatupunguzia yale tunayapitia la mwisho kwa sababu ya muda ni kuwashukuru wale wenzetu wote tumekaa pamoja na sisi kuanzia wakati tulipoteza ndugu yetu mpaka siku hii ya leo waheshimiwa hapa mheshimiwa deputy president wameongea kuhusu mambo kadhaa ya maendeleo yangu tu umesikia mheshimiwa Joyce amesema hii fertilizer vile alikuwa anataka kusema ni kwamba hapa sisi ni wakulima pale bomet pia sisi ni wakulima fertilizer ikiwa imekuja nikiwa natakikana kuiendea kwa distance ya kilomita ishirini na kwenda mbele bei yake itakuwa inapanda juu badala ipunguzwe Tule, tulikuwa tushaomba na najua hiyo policy tayari iko kwa serikali kwanza ifungwe kwa kilo ishirini na tano so that ule mkulima wa chini ule tarimbo alikuwa anasema wa chini kabisa saidi ambaye hawezi akadunua 50 kg anaweza nunua 25 kilos la pili ni tuipeleke pia mpaka local shopping centers na najua hiyo inaendelea ni kazi inaendelea kwa serikali registration ili tujue ule mkulima akitoka nyumbani anaenda kwa ule mtu mwenye ako na agrovet hapo kwa shopping center anapata fadhalasa yake ya shil, eh, kilo 25 anaenda kulima ili maisha ya watu wa chini na watu wa juu na ile program ya Kenya Kwanza iweze kuinawiri na tusonge mbele na maendeleo ya wananchi ya mwisho tuko na deni na wewe pale Bomet ile siku yetu tatu tumeongea ujue tumeweka pale kwa kichwa ikifika wakati huo tutakushika tukuweke pale alafu pia tuseme wewe ni wetu full time pale Bomet na si mahala pengine kwa hayo mheshimiwa Cherorot na familia tunasema pole May the soul of our brother rest in eternal peace. Asanteni sana. Nichukue fursa hii kumkaribisha mheshimiwa eh, waziri Kipchumba Murkamen ili aendeleze kutoka hapo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you uh, wakili sige. Um uh, naibu wa rais Your Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa. Mheshimiwa Cherorot Joseph na familia yako your daughter in law fancy your granddaughter stacy of course your wife lily and your the brothers the brother and sister of vincent mheshimiwa gavana ndugu yetu dr eric mutai waheshimiwa wenzangu wenye wako hapa ma senator ma na we, wa uh, MCS yes i wanted to say the MCS wa sehemu hii wananchi wote na waombelezaji bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena kwanza kabisa kabla sijasema uh, chochote mheshimiwa naibu wa rais 
ningependa kuwajulisha viongozi wengine wa serikali wenye wako hapa ikiwa pamoja na ma PS wenye wako hapa uh, wasimame tu niwajulishe tuko na PS Korir ambaye anafanya kazi kwa ofisi wa ya naibu wa rais ako hapa amekuja na sisi na yeye pia ni rafiki ya ndugu yetu Cherorot tuko pia na ndugu yetu Sosion ambaye Wilson Sosion ambaye pia aliteuliwa na mheshimiwa rais kuwa CAS na mnajua ile challenge ilikuwa hapo kidogo lakini ndugu yetu Sosion ako hapa uh, pia na ni rafiki wa karibu wa ndugu yetu Cherorot I think that's all we are here. Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais. Tumekuja hapa kwa msiba huu ambaye ni chungu sana sana. Uh, mheshimiwa Cherorot ni rafiki yako wa karibu. Wewe umekuwa karibu. Hata inajulikana mko marafiki. Lakini pia ni rafiki yangu. Na ni mtu mfanyikazi mnyenyekevu. Ni mtu foundation yake ni kwa Mungu tumekuwa na yeye na sasa zingine ana uh, e-jokes e anasema unajua ananiambia unajua wewe ni kijana yetu uh, sisi ni pasta sasa yeye ni pasta yetu kwa siasa uh, aliwacha wale pasta wengine waendelee upande huu yeye ndio anatupasta kwa upande huu na niliposikia habari ya kupoteza kijana yake nilihusunika sana na kwa niaba yangu na familia yangu nataka nitoe risala za rambi rambi na pole kwa ndugu yetu mheshimiwa Cherorot kwa kumpoteza Vincent Vincent kama vile tumesoma amesoma akaitimu akawa wakili na tena pia yeye ni fastball uliona kwa nini nilisisitiza ya kwamba mawakili wapewe nafasi e, Vincent akukana sisi sana wanasiasa alikaa sana na mawakili na alifanya kazi pamoja under uh, uh, LSK's Uh, leadership na mawakili wengine na akafanya kazi ukipata wakili mwenye anafanya practice your excellence kwa mambo ya tax law we don't have first vile Hillary amesema hatuna mawakili sana kwa sehemu hii ya hii, hii bonde la ufa yote tumekuwa tukijadiliana tukiuliza ni kwa nini hiyo ni one of the professions yenye tuko na watu wachache ukisembea hapa kipsiki hapa utapata ma engineers wengi lakini mawakili ni kama siku za moi ni kama kwa sababu tulikuwa serikali na mawakili walikuwa wanapika makelele wengi ni kama watu wengi walikuwa wanasema msipeleke watoto yetu kwa mawakili ni wale wa kupika kelele wa opposition so unapata we have very few lawyers in fact i used to teach law school and uh, i know it is now this generation ya Vincent ndio tumepata kuanza kupata mawakili and i want to say congratulations to Mama Lili na Mheshimiwa Joseph kwa ku bring up their child he has lived 39 very um, very fruitful years and impacted lives and i want to say pole to the wife and pray that god will give you the strength with your daughter to go through this very difficult time kama vile bishop amesema kwa hapa uh, there is a preacher alisema um, alisema we will all die it's just a question of time and in fact dying early that does not mean more people have died because everybody will die anyway so we go today we go tomorrow we go after 50 years we go after 70 years what is important in life kitu ya maana zaidi kwa maisha ni kwamba ukienda leo ama uende kesho ama uende kesho kutwa ni nini utakuwa umewacha Like the song says ye igeske poche ngakanyo amutoli ako Bishop ameni peleka kwa another paragraph sasa I'm very confused yeah kazi yangu ikisha na mini kiokoka na kuva kutokuwa ribika nitamwona mwokozi wa rehema na pendo Aliye ni papa hali mbinguni nitamjua nitamjua kwa 
na uso kwa uso nitamjua nitamjua kwa la mazami sumari so despite all these things we are doing hii ukubwa yote hii maringo yote tuko nayo hii kuvae tunavaa sijui namna gani what is the most important thing is when you appear before god what will you take and that's why i keep saying kama sisi wana siasa tumepewa nafasi ama viongozi tumepewa nafasi kama vile biblia inasema kwa matayo kwamba ukifika huko unaambiwa i was thirsty ulinitengenezea njia ya kupata maji i was hungry mlifanya fertilizer subsidy wewe rigiji ukasukuma subsidy ya fertilizer mungu anakuambia karibu mwanangu wakati ulikuwa dunia ulipambania watu unaona mazao ikakuwa mzuri wakapata chakula unaambiwa wewe mimi nilikuwa na shida nikafanya makosa kweli nikafungwa kweli lakini huku sema nipotee nikiwa huko jela mlitengeneza ukiwa waziri wa interior mkaunda jela ikae mzuri ndio mimi pia niweze nikaona uzuri wa Mungu huko nikingojea kwenda mbinguni so the bible gives us a foundation inatupatia foundation alafu sasa iseme hiyo watu walikuwa wanangangana shida ilikuwa mingi au kuwa nafika hata soko na huyu murko amenakaweka barabara karibu mwanangu goja katika mapumziko so tunaona kazi zetu tukiona kazi zetu sio kwamba kufurahisha mwananchi peke yake na kwanza kufurahisha Mungu ndio tutajikaza zaidi and they say a lot more will be done if we don't care who takes the credit if you really want the work to be done a lot more will be done na kwa hivyo mheshimiwa naibu wa rais we appreciate you hao watu wanakupenda hao watu wanakushukuru kwa sababu ulishikana na rais at a very difficult time wakati kama huu two years ago we were living in so much uncertainty hatukuwa tunajua hata network iko wapi nini tunaenda tu tukipata wewe tupate rais anasema ah huyu tutashinda huyu hakuna hata wewe kwanza ulikuwa unatunduambia unajua hii uhuru nimekaa na yeye sana ilikuwa pia na mimi ni mtu ya mrima msijikuwe na shida huyu tunaelewa lakini sisi tunasema kweli kweli tunakupigia magofu lakini tukipaki peke yetu tunasema oh hoi tos kisiri kabisa tos chamej bujumo tuluoni kabisa you know your excellency unajua hii uchakuzi uliopita ndio ilimaliza ukabila hii wasiwasi hii watu walikuwa nayo hapa walikuwa nasema na hii watu wa milima watapigia kura mtu mwingine mwenye sio mtoto yao since independence since democracy ikuje mpya this is the first elections yenye wa Kenya wamekaa kwa kauli moja bila kuangalia kabila bila kuangalia region wakapigia kura William Samoei Ruto akakuwa rais na wewe you are very courageous because mtoto yao alikuwa rais alikuwa anasukuma upande fulani lakini wewe na timu yako mkakaa farm mkasema we will be remembered for legacy ya kumaliza ukabila hatutafuata huyu kwa sababu ni mtoto yetu tufuate huyu kwa sababu yeye yako na vision ya kubadilisha taifa la Kenya na mkapenda naibu wa rais kwizo ambaye ni rais sasa mpaka sisi wa sehemu hii tukajiuliza ni kama amependwa tena huko zaidi kuliko hapa tukajikaza tena zaidi ndio sisi tunaokopa wewe ukisema shares tuna coila wa tails kwa sababu tunajua kweli shares mlifanya ya, ku, ya kutosha ya kubadilisha nchi yetu na kwa hivyo tunakusupport asante kwa kukuja ukaa kericho ukapambana mambo ya chai najua wewe umekuwa very firm kwa mambo ya ukulima cabinet juzi imetangaza kwamba mahindi haitanunuliwa kiolela itaonuliwa kwa bei yenye iko at a certain level uh, minimum price ambaye mlisema na rais itatangazwa na wewe ulikuwa kibao mbele kuhakikisha hiyo price imekuwa na minimum set kwa sababu tuliubiri minimum guarantee kwa farmers hao wakulima wako na haki kupata minimum amount na wewe umekuwa ukisukuma hiyo kwa hivyo tunakutuko nyuma yako wewe unasafiri jumapili hii unaenda huko ngambo kututafutia bei mzuri ya kahawa hii kahawa inatengenezwa hapa kwa hiki kilicho kwanza hii constituency na ile inafuata iko na kahawa nyingi hiyo kazi unafanya 
we will never forget it. We appreciate the work you do, Your Excellency, and we want to thank you, na President, kwa kazi mnafanya pamoja. Tunajua tuliangaika sana kwa ile serikali lipita. Ukiona mwishimu wa Chiroroti na viongozi wa hapa, Senator ambaye ni majority leader wetu, ambaye mwishimu wa governor hapa, ambaye pia ni wabunge wote wenye wako hapa, women rebietu hapa, kama vile wanakusumbua tutengeneze e dam na hospitali. Ni kwa sababu iko karibu eight years late. And your excellency, we support you and the president in your effort to make sure that hii kericho imeenda kusonga mbele. Hii kericho tunatekemea sana kwa hii bonde la ufa, kwa sababu it's one of our richest counties. We want to make sure that kericho inasonga mbele. Ile mambo mtu alisema hapa ya kukutaftia shamba, hui chererot, eh, waja mungu amsaidie, apate nguvu, alafu, hapa hapa londiani bado kuna space. Pange pange, pange araka araka, pange kitu. Ndiya kuwe hata jirani yako. Alafu bas, akisha patia wewe, mina meamambia ye patia naibu wa raisi ile kubwa. Na unipatia tu kitu ya bakdo enye, nitapata njia ya kuingilia ya nyuma. Ndiyo sisi wote tukue watu wa kuhishi sehemu hii. Your Excellency, mwishimiwa Cherorot, na mwishimiwa wa wa viongozi wa hapa, wameomba barabara kadha hapa, kidogo. Na washa kuja ofisi yangu. Nimekuwa na viongozi hawa wote. Wameomba barabara ya kutoka Londiani, kuenda mbaka Tuyo Bay, ambaye napitia maali na hituwa Kimaut. Mwishimi wa hiyo ni karibu kilo, eh, kilomita tisa, na kaomba barabara ya Londiani, eh, eh, yende Hilltop, Kisirichet, na isonge yende Tuyo Bay pia, ikutane na hiyo ingine. Alafu wakaomba pia barabara ya Londiani, kuenda Makutano, ambaye ni 14 kilomita kuenda hapa. Nimekaa tayari na wale uh, a, uh, agencies kwa national government. Tumeweka design, design imeisha. Sasa tuko na mpango ya kutafutia pesa kidogo. Naomba watu wa constituency hii, mwishima wenu msimzumbue tena. Waja mimi sasa ni ngangane, ni pambane na rais. Tuone tutapata wapi pesa, tuwatengeneze hiyo barabara, iweze ikasonga mbele. Hii ni one of those constituencies imeachwa nyuma kwa sababu hiko na a lot of benefit lakini imeachwa nyuma. Mwishimua naibu wa rais, kuna barabara ingine imeombwa tangu, tangu zamani. Yenye natoka inamoi pale, inateremuka kuenda hapa chini uh, kwa mainlos hapo ya Fortenan. Isonge ipige kona mboko vale, ipande yende tinderet, na itoke penye tulikuwa kanisa na wewe kwa huko Nand Hills. Yo barabara, tumeomba miaka mingi, lakini mimi nataka kwa wakati wangu ikumbukwe kwamba ingawaje iliomba mwaka mingi ilitimizwa nikiwafanyia wewe na rais kasi kama mtu yenu ya mkono so kumaje kile barabara na watu singo ngobwana biga kuti kongete transmara kama lazima kubudiun lazima kubunua ngole njamge 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 awe bogot so nitahakikisha kama mama nimesema your excellency yo barabara ndio itabeba marakwe na na nini kufikisha kufikisha soko haraka kwa sababu hii vale iko na potential ya kubadilisha uh, dunia hii yetu your excellence kwa hivyo uh, tunangangana tulipofika ofisi barabara yetu ya sondu kwenda uh, kapsoit sondu ilikuwa mbaya contractor is on site tutahakikisha hiyo itamaliza mimi nataka kuhakikisha moja moyo wa big up kericho kiko torate jova Kigimi oleya, kigimi be kwenet. Kota wama elections na kikitinyo hini. Akota nea kimanga ni kafisa la tos kita no, kita yu. Kika kia hiti. Kia meja kia moji, chiova kia lechi kongoi. Namba wa enyi, kia meja kia ratake kia yuku kita akenge. Kia yuku kita akenge. Sa singi ni waka sa alak changa lalo atisi asa kola oh, kala oh, ya kilia, kilia, kilia. Pika up call engine, kopo suru meta kenge kila koka korkon akenge kima chaka enamge ke ukita akenge aga wama chale chimweshimi wa governor governor alikuwa na mimi jana kagumi tuwai kanyo kusawa mbarabara ushe kichi chang jiba town kericho town ano 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 kaka ayenji akon kande sayi chika machamata wande sayi lakini kawala de omu kericho koka kichope barabara shi jato mi town kutomo Ngalega pe eh, eh, mashujadi. Lagi ni governor, 
pambana hapa kwa grau hapa unajua kidogo we umekuja wewe ni one of the governors umeingia kihasla ile ya kihasla literally tu na bado mimi naona wewe unakaa hasla hata hiyo socks aingiane na hiyo longi lakini sawa ya yeah? unajua ni sawa tu kaa namna hiyo lakini what you make sure you do tembea vijiji vijiji panga maneno panga maneno Ukipata mahali aina mara imekuwa makwama na inataka bridge kidogo hata kama ni account pigia mimi simu tuweke pamoja. Kwa sababu we need to make sure that our people wanakaa kwa kitu kimoja. And I want to thank watu ya Kericho kwa kuchakua rafiki yangu ambaye nilimshika mkono alipoingia Senate. Mheshimiwa Aaron Cheriot. He is doing a fantastic job. He is doing a fantastic job as majority leader. Si yeye ndiye alichukua kwa mkono kwa m- mikono yangu na mimi naona anafanya kazi nzuri he would have really want to be here mashima chevro road you know that lakini kwa sababu ya safari yenye alienda akuweza let us work together as one one team to badilishe ili inji yetu iende mbele kwa hayo na mengi sasa waja nichukue nafasi kukaribisha huyo hasla eh, wa governor eric mutai akuje ndio akaribishe rikiji mwenyewe asante sana Your Excellency, I was just confirming if the songs are okay. Like na jua wewe na mimi ni mahaslas too. Ada you tell us kubwa kubwa kama Serena wa na avoid many times. Kwa sababu kuna siku hapo wabunge walichukua kule kwa mkutano, nikachepata kuna video ya kuweka hapa White White TV, nikakosa yote kanuka chini. But on the list your Excellency, thank you for coming. And before I make some few remarks, thank you CS Murkomen. Before I make some few remarks, We have our able deputy governor my brother engineer friend let me invite him to come and uh, piano pole sake karibu sana uh, your excellency uh, deputy president uh, your excellency uh, governor uh, waziri uh, murkomen uh, viongozi ambao wako hapa na sisi siku ya leo uh, yangu ni machache E, nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kwanza kabisa kusema pole kwa familia ya e, Mheshimiwa Cherorot e, na e, mke wake na watoto na wengine walikuwa na support e, uhuru Kenyatta na mrengo wetu tukiwa na kemi nilikuwa tu nimemaliza e, nilikuwa nimegraduate university and we wanted change i want to take this opportunity kusema ya kwamba naibu wa rais mimi Naibu wa Rais amekuwa rafiki wangu wa karibu sana kwa muda. Na hii safari yake ya kuwa naibu wa Rais na wakati mmoja tulikuwa naye ofisi yake akaniambia engineer unajua hii kiti ya Rais. Huyu kijana wenu mimi naona atakuwa Rais 2022. Na mimi nataka watu ya Central tutajipanga hivi hivi alafu tuone. Nikamuuliza na sisi tunajua watu ya Central huwa hawezi kutuamini sana. Ya akanihakikishia kwamba sisi watu ya Central that was 2018 tumesimama na kijana wenu na utaona and i want to thank you kwa hiyo msimamo na sisi tutarudisha hiyo mkono wakati wetu ukifika unajua sisi eh, naibu wa rais sasa hizi Kenya kuna watu watatu ambao wanasema ukweli sana mtu wa kwanza ni rais mwenyewe rais amekuwa ni mtu wa kusema ukweli kwa dunia mzima jana tulipokuwa na ile conference ya mabadiliko ya hewa yeye yeah, alisimama na akaambia dunia mzima ukweli na watu wote sasa wanamfuata rais wetu kuleta mabadiliko katika nchi yetu ya Kenya na eh, Afrika nzima. Mtu mwingine wa kusema ukweli ni naibu wa rais. Yeye yeah, ni truthful man. Na mtu mwingine wa kusema ukweli ni mimi hapa engineer, mtu wa kusema ukweli kilicho. <laughs> Kwa hivyo mimi niko hapa na nashukuru sana watu ya kilicho kwa kusimama na sisi na tutaendelea hivyo tukishikilia maendeleo ili tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja otherwise nawashukuru sana kwa kuja na kupata nafasi kuja kunyumuika na sisi kusema pole katika familia ya Cherot asante na Mungu awabariki asante sana mheshimiwa wetu Fred ame kabla sijasema machaje your excellency wamama wawili hapa they began in a very good way and it was a very good spirit that is the two the three mama counties na wakapea sisi changamoto kama wanaume na wamama wakasema kila mtu 
Sema wa mama wa piane haki. Mimi vile vile nataka niseme pia wanaume wa piane haki. Na wakati wana piane ya kiyote, wase pia tuchanganuke kidoko kama mama na file t-shirt miandiku wa sengenge ni ngombe, badilisha kidoko kwa ingine. Kama anafa, amesema chururo tosha, nulia t-shirt ingine mzuri na maisha inele mzuri. Your Excellency, I'm here to condole this family. Not really as a governor of this county, but because these are my family members. Kwa niaba yangu na jamii wetu wote, kwa clan yetu, Chiroro yeye ni chairman wetu ya clan, na mimi na huyu Hillary Sigei, na ule Sebuleni, sisi tunakuwa watu wake wa mkono. Na kwa hivyo tuko nyumba ya papa kusema pole, and to also say that may God dress our brother in eternal bees. Secondly, Your Excellency, this young man, Finson, when I was in Form 4 at the Tain High School, he was in Form 3 and he was just a year behind me. Kwa niyaba ya alma mata wetu wa Tain High School, pia ataka niseme pole kwa ukijana wetu, and we will continue praying and supporting the family even at this hour of need. Latatu, Your Excellency, is just to confirm that indeed, Chiro Road, you have walked this journey, it was a painful moment. When I was in Kana, I reached you out on phone because I knew it was a very difficult moment. I couldn't believe what I saw. We talked together. We condoled with the family. And I want to thank Kericho County, Congressional Speaker Yetu, and my MCS Wetu Wote, because they took time and wakakuja hapa to condole with the family. And that is the strength and the unity that we have as a county, even at this hour of grief, that we always shelter the burden on behalf of each other. Musho is that where you've been in the forefront, you have created reforms in this country. One of the greatest reforms that you are leading, ni maneno ya kahawa, maneno ya chai, na maneno ya masiwa, na mahindi. Sisi kama county governments, we are solidly behind you to ensure that the farmer gets what belongs to them. Example, Your Excellency, hapa kericho, ikip kilionis tuku hapa. This is one of the few sub-counties in kericho which has no cash crop. The only crop they are relying on is maize. Na sisi kama county to make a 45 million so that we can build a maize miller for them and people ha watu wenye aloka sufria kwa kichwa wasipate maindi kutoka hapa kericho. We are not selfish, but they are just protecting the farmer. Tayari, the contractor is on site, and this is one of the projects I'll invite your excellence when it's done for you to come and launch so that we give guaranteed minimum returns to our farmers as we move forward. We also have a plan through the support of your official your excellency, and we plan that the two wards where we are today, Londiani and Soget and Denum, we want to make this area a complete bioretram zone because in the past, this used to be an active bioretram zone and we are committed to make sure that the farmers will support them through our cash subsidy as a county so that they are able also to get cash crops within our paive. Na musha, Your Excellency, jana na shukuru mwenyesi mungu na kwa serikali yako na William Ruto. Out of it, I was able to have a robust engagement with our CS Murgomen, my brother Murgomen, and our sister Nakumija in preparation of Masucha Day. And out of your blessings and that of the president, I'm happy that today, as a county government of Kericho, to Takua Nai Rivaro Lietu Habalondiani very soon, because Nakumija herself confirmed to me that things are in pipeline through your blessings, and soon we are going to have this revival. And let me just tell the people of Kipkelion, if there is one man that truly loves Kericho and people of Kipkelion, His Excellency, the Deputy President. I remember when there was a debate on where this facility should go, Your Excellency, you called me, and you made it clear to me that Governor, consider that area of Londiani and Kipkelion is because it's a marginalized area. And I say, Your Excellency, after your phone, I'm very loyal. Na maana kama county, tushia tenga shaba pale, already we have fenced it, and we are just waiting for the last things to happen, and I know your government is committed to finish this. Murko mena sema sana sana, my brother. You agree that before Mashuja, you'll do for us almost 22 kilometers of tarmac in town Kericho. Na tayari umesha weka signature. You are a true brother of this county. And on top of that, kwa ofisi yako toka ubaleana ya kwamba ile airport ilikuwa mekwama kule kerenga. That we are going to do something on it, 
and we will work out so that His Excellency, the Deputy President before Mashuja Day, will come and launch the beginning of works in the Karenga airstrip. And that will also push the economy of this county and help this county to move to another level. We are committed, Your Excellency, to make sure that we grow as brothers and sisters and make this country to move forward because that is the calling of every leader, even as we move forward. Kwa mwenye kwa nema ya mwenye si Mungu kwa kana pita yake pita yad kai tunrau alage ene chevu ki mami kwa mangunet akut deputy president akut president kwa ki mami nam kwa mangunet lage ndeko kwa mwenye chuo meta Jehova kwa kuna ina fasi kai tunyo asige chimbi imanit kuyu kwa moito bishop sige tore chuma mucheke agi tore chuo na tabu shek agi kana pita imani kita kenge tuna mashamba mangunet kota kolingin kwa kenge kago swa murgo kago swa murgo mengi lingi kwa tia chorani. Kuo kota kopo kuto ya agomasi manandi, akuo all the way to West Pokot. Angamuki mche kito yen kota abcollegei ngo ngeten transmara all the way away Pokot. Inguni kwa kibanga kile Eldoret Airport, kwa ishen kiven agricultural products the airport kwa Eldoret. Kuma kima mche ketengange anagiburugele miro gipsigis miro unandi miro bogoche achicha kikot akenge kota abcollegei agomache kwa kwa ishet kwa bamoja. Tuko kala kuyo akseta yun. Ako gu negeti la itoriat na ndon arabruta. So mbaja wa samini wasiri murgo men, ya ni mireu imitenga. Marargo mye engaro. Aki tia itugu kujoreke mwenyero. Pia surono kuna nyo pia surono. Pia surono kuna nyo ya atepe ya arabruta mwa mwenye ene mwane. Kwa 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 Ako kuna kula late ni mtunguni, late ni mtunguni kwa Kenya msumba ako mbele kwa kwa mbele kwa nini? Soma jana soma mguu tio. Ali yaya inga lega estimate, kwa mwa estimate ni yingeni na kwa kwa wana ni yingeni lega lakini majaza. So kwa mwa estimate ali, yangu na baadhi estimate ni mwa ni, kwa kisa mageni ya murgo men kilingi, o kwa kutoa kuboga. Ake macho dorde chenga, yangu ili lega geche kama counties, anga mungo tap kolingi kwa genge. Mugi mugi wakisege, pchego tap kolingi, akda yangu bendi kena mugi utugul, asoko bitke ba ishiet. Your Excellency, you are our son, you are our brother. The spirit you have for reforms in this country, your position on many things inspires so many of us. When you tell Raila on the face that this handshake and this bipartisan is nonsense. We are solidly behind you 100%. Because we must also work out of machination, out of blackmail, so that we accept when election is done, it is done. And what we need to wait for is another election so that we can contest. Because Kenya is a democracy. We love you so much. We cherish your presence. You are a strong man to us. Sisi Kama Fiongozi Vijana will always be coming to your office for mentorship so that you can hold our hands and move together. Bishop Mayai moani, koi ina kimoche kitiyo, kenge tina. Lege le nanyam. Aya sawa sawa kisunen. Kine kimoche kitiyo kenge, koge namge tu guleun, kama fiongosi. Agi guye, kile moani kumu muche kota agrote kaxias. Ani ya gua governor, kete tu yeye kimoche kunyota. Asike gurge fiongosi tu gule, age banga nge enta yuno tu kige bendi ene moani. Ako asomo ali, kutuko migint nenguwaan kapisa yengota kipsikis. Kuyon kakinam logo kabi, agi us, to a point, nena kakipa mashishi, kumite nchi dena mara kakina kama yuwe yongiri rego uni, asoko ngalal. Kuma migi nguwaan, nisi renotan, ako matibi tapkota kipsikishek. Alak chengo loldos, kuma kinge toritit kisa poten, agi iso chiku si kwonyik, ako minot kaha wege ni baso kusapcho. Sige beta ine mwani. Anga mwani magi mwuche ke sop engerishoni. Aga mwani kwa governor na waka wantini. Ile manene ya chunction. Nataka niseme hivi leo. If there was a mistake that was done there. So nyamasa kwanz. Amani wele wele nyamasa kwanz. Ana lagi biti sisa mwaja juu. Amasha mbago unim. Kutkumiten kitake tukul. Niki yage nyota. Kuma instructions as the governor. Kuma waguru yege mwa. Kutur game make and sure. Kele kabwa toye kwa yarambe. Mimu mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe. Aka mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe fiongo si chiki kwa tukul. Aka nyewe kukia mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe. Kina swa mwenyewe kukia mwenyewe. We have sorted the problem. 
Kotko Michi, if there is anyone here, because we have already sorted the problem that was there. Max, your Excellency is a lovely county. We love you so much and we treasure your presence. Karibuni sana, your Excellency, to address. Let's all remain outstanding as we wait. Asante sana tafadhali tu Keti. Ah. Uh, Felistas mjana wa marehemu. Stacy mtoto wa marehemu. Mheshimiwa Charoret na familia yako. Baba askofu na kanisa. Mheshimiwa waziri wetu wa barabara. Governor wetu wa Kiricho, naibu wa Gavana, Senators, Members of Parliament, Marafiki, na jamii na wole watu wote wamefika hapa. Chamge. Yomne. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Asanteni sana. Hata mimi nimefika hapa leo kwa niaba ya Rais William Ruto na familia yake amenituma kumwakilisha katika hafla hii ya kumsindikisha wakili marehemu Vincent na rais amenituma na pole aliweza kuwasiliana na mheshimiwa Chororet kwa simu na mke wake na akapeana pole zake rais ameshikamana kabisa kwa sababu ya ile kazi ilikuwa Nairobi na safari zingine za kitaifa ambaye anapanga na kaniamrisha nifike hapa ni mwakilishe. pia kwa niamba yangu mimi mwenyewe na mke wangu pastor dokas na vijana wangu kevin and keith nataka pia niseme pole kwa mjane kwa mtoto stacy na kwa wazazi eh, mr and mrs chorore hili ni piko kubwa na tunajua ile uchungu uko katika familia hii. The late Vincent was at the prime of his youth at his most productive stage in life. Na kumpoteza mtoto wa kwanza tena wakili ambaye ni mchanga. Ni kitu ambaye ina uchungu mwingi sana. Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa Charoleta ni wa family we are praying for you as i told you on phone and we are together in this journey na huyu mtoto stesi ametuuliza na ikanigusa sana ya kwamba asione sisi leo siku ya mwisho na amesema tuendelee kuwashikilia na kuwatembelea na akaendelea kusema hata sisi tukiwa tuko chini watatukumbuka those were very powerful words coming from a child and I want to ask all of us ambaye wako hapa muendelee kuombea hii familia na kuishikilia. Baba wetu askofu na kanisa nataka kushukuru nyinyi. Wakati ya majonzi ndio watu wengi huelewa maana ya kanisa kuwa karibu. Kwa sababu saa ingine tu watu naenda kanisani Jumapili naenda nyumbani narudi naenda wanaichukua tu ni msaha. Until you have lost a loved one very close kanisa inakuja kwa maombi kila siku inakuja na shikilia familia ndio watu wanaelewa maana ya kanisa katika maisha yetu kwa hivyo mimi mheshimiwa i would like to assure you of the support of the president and i and the rest of us if you need anything from us we are called away na ningetaka kukuuliza kwa heshima sasa wewe ndio baba ya hawa watoto huyu felistas that is your daughter that is your grandchild shikilia hiyo familia lea huyo mtoto vile babake ambaye ametuacha angependa msomeshe atakuja kuwa kiongozi atakuja kuinua jamii kwa hivyo sisi zote tumekuja hapa kwa sababu ya hayo juu ya hayo huyu mheshimiwa Charole ni kiongozi ambaye for the short time amekuwa kwa bunge ameonesha umaarufu katika uongozi ameonesha ako na mpango na ako na mpangilio ya kusukuma Kelion East to the next level. 
Mimi nataka kuuliza nyinyi kwa heshima muunge mkono. Mumuombe na you support him. Anatuangaisha na rais pale na mawaziri kila ofisi. Akienda kufuata mambo ya barabara, mambo ya maji, mambo ya tivet, mambo ya harambe ya kanisa anatusukuma. Na usiwaombe usi kusukuma sisi hiyo ndio kazi yako. Kusukuma mimi na rais hiyo ndio kazi yako. Wale watu sukumi tunajua watazama. Ukiona mjumbe hapigi simu, hakuji. Mwaka moja imeisha. Si huyo ni mtu akwenda nyumbani. That is a sign. Ukiniuliza sahi akwenda nyumbani, nitakwambia. Lakini sitaki nitaje hapa. Lakini huyu chororo the way he have started, kanyangia hapo. Bele iko sawa. Kanyangia hapo. Pana choka kuingia mimi ma ofisi. Hiyo ofisi ya bana ya mtu ni ya Usipate ati wazile na sukuka hapo na kitu ufikirie ni yake na bibi yake. Bana, ikia huko useme unataka hii na hii na hii. Na ukiendelea utapewa di uondoke. Siku mimi nilikuwa mujumbe, nilikuwa nikiambiwa nifukuje sa moja, mina uja sa kumina mbili. Nikiambiwa waziri yako na kazi, kuja kesho, mina rudi sa saba. Jioni niko hapo. Masaka ya rasema hile muheshimu ya kusumbua, malizia imudu wa toke haende. Na mimi nikapata maendeleo mingi sana kwa kusumbua hiyo. Kwa hivyo wewe, Charolette, that is the way, endelea hapo. Mimi juu ya kupeana pole, ningetaka niseme, kuna mambo mingi imeongelewa hapa. And I want to confirm watu ya kericho. Kupata maendeleo kwa serikali ya William Ruto. It's not a privilege, it's your right. It's your right. You are entitled to development. Kwa zawa mulipika kura? Kwa hindi kura mulikuwa muna pika ya kufanya nini? Siene ya kutafuta maendeleo. Politics for scarce resources. To decide who gets what, when, and usually not why. So, hii kura tulipiga ya 2022. Diyo tafudisha watu kupiga kura tukienda mbele. Watu wasifikake, unapiga kura tu unafikiria tini mchezo. Halafu uchaguzi kisha, hozi, uchaguzi meisha sasa tufanya kazi. Hapana, sasa mimi, Nilipigiwa kura hapa kericho tukiwa na rais. Nikiitwa pahali siku pigiwa kura, iyo siku ikuwe imekuwa siku moja, tariki moja. Iko harambe huko na iko hapa. Nitaenda wabi? Si iko na muna iyo? Eh. Najua wapedagi mimi kwa usema ukweli. Wana niingilia, lakini mimi na simama na ukweli wangu kwa sababu, ukweli ni wakudumu. Mambo ya fertilizer. Tulipo ingia, wale watu ya handshake walikuwa hana haja na kilimo mbolea ilikuwa 1700 hawakuwa na shughulika hawakuwa na haja ile kidogo walipeana kwa NSBB inauzwa unaikuta kwa agrovet si ilikuwa namna hiyo mbolea tumelete na 3500 tumeregister wakulima kila mtu ametumiwa message amechukua mbolea yake amepanda mazao dio hayo Mekuja kwa dege na angalia, roho yangu na duda duda kuwa kufra. Nikiona ile kazi mfanyika haba. Raisa mesema badu, hamepungusa mpaka 2,500. Sasa, kwanza sisi, watu wetu, wale wako na shea zimingi kwa hii serikali, nini wakulima. So, bolea ikija haka, hiko mkosa gani? Hiko makosa? Hei, sasa tumeanza registration ya pili ya farmers. Mujiadikishe, na mchukue bolea. And we have asked governors, kama hii jafanyika hapa, we love to ask Barachok, governor wa, wa, wa Bomet na huyu, mtai. Tulikubaliana mufanya last mile. Mufungulie store yende kwa vijiji. Ndiyo hii wakulima waje kutembea, hiyo masaya kutembea wakue kwa shamba. Sindio? So we have asked the governors na tumekubaliana. Na asawa wa wetu wa Kenya kwanza. Hata hakuna kitu ya kuongelea. Hiyo ni amri. Nyinyi ni waboma yetu. Sasa kwa boma hiko mambo ya kujadiliana. Ya kwa katika wale wengine wanaweza kataa. Wakikubali ni sawa. Lakini wetu wale wa Kenya kwanza. Governors mufanya last mile. Mutafute store. Musafirishe. Wakulima wachukue hapo. Wahende kwa shamba. We don't want farmers to waste time. Kutebea bahari mbali kutafuta bolea kwa sababu bolea hiko. So let us take advantage, governors, to saidie. Mambo ya inuwa jamii. Mambo ya waze of a 70 years. Tulipofika pale, walikuwa nangoja mwezi kumi. 
mwezi nane. Hakuna mtu walikuwa na shughulika na hawa. Viongozi walikuwa kwa rege. Wanacheza rege. Sasa akina mama wazee wanaumia. Rais ametoa amri tumelipa kila mtu up to date. Tena amesema by 28th of every month wazee wapate haki yao. Na dio watakuwa kwanza kupata dio rais na mimi tupate na hao mawaziri. Treasury wakisema hakuna pesa ya kutosha tunasema toa ya wazee kwanza wapate. Sisi wengine tunaweza ngoja. Sisi tunaweza ngoja. Sisi hata kulipo tarehe 5 tarehe 10 kwa makosa. Wazee by 28th. Lakini tumefungua second phase ya registration. Mesikia huyu Francis Gay alikuwa busi yangu, alikuwa PC. Mimi nikiwa DO, alikuwa natukaza sana. Na alikuwa mtu anafanya kazi vizuri. Sasa wewe PC unasema ati ati muongezwe shares ati ya wazee. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Kila mtu amefikisha miaka sabini. Aandikishwe apate haki yake. There is no discussion. And if that is happening in Sotik, Bwana County Commissioner, there is a problem. You need to find out and tell me before I go what is the problem. Nani huyo nabaguka kusema ati hiko watu watu wachache? Hakuna. Bona umefikisha mwaka sabini. Hata kama the whole of Sotik wamefikisha seventh wapewe wote. So utaniambia before I go. Find out if kuna mtu watu yako your DCC ama wale watu ya registration Wame, wamefanya hivyo you confirm wataondoka kabla niondoke. Si ndio? Because tumekubaliana kila mama mzee amefikisha miaka sabini. aandikishwe apate pesa yake. Na waziri wa social protection Florence Bore anatoka hapa. So how do we have a problem in Sotik? So let's find out what is the problem but ni ya kila mtu. Hakuna kubaguliwa, hakuna allocation ni wale wote wamefikisha miaka wapewe. Nikitoka hapa mwaba ya barabara kichumba hako hapa. Sasa si ni waziri hii mtoto wenu. What is the problem? Si yako hapa. Si mnajua ofisi yake. Sasa unless mnataka kumshtaki kwangu. Alafu ni ni maana na yeye kwa sababu Nimesikia akiongea hapa kikale. Wacha nikwambie kipchuba unajua wewe ujui. Huyu <laughs> usudi unajua ni rafiki yangu. Huyu engineer. Nilipopoa hii kazi alinikatisha chini. Akaniambia unajua kwa boma ya mfalume. Iko watu watatu wa ya fitina. Wakale wote karibu el, mia, kwa mia moja ni wazuri lakini iko moja bili watu ya fitina. Wewe ndio usipate shida, wacha nikufundishe kikale fitina ikija hapo kwa rais unaelewa. Sasa mko mbele anasema mtatengeneza barabara iende mpaka Pokot na isipitie kule kwa watu ya maandamano. Ati anataka ati, ati nisisikie. Sasa Sasa mimi nikisikia na ni mtu wenu iko makosa. Mimi kwanza niko hapo. Sasa hata Yesu si alianza Jerusalem. Sasa wewe mko mbele ukipea hii watu barabara iko makosa gani? Wewe kama uwezi pea hii watu ya barabara ni wako wetu yeye utapea. Sasa wewe ujifiche wewe sema wazi nisikie because hiyo hiyo ni muziki kwa ma, kwa mazikio yangu. Mimi nikisikia mnapata si nyinyi mlinipatia kazi. Nyinyi ndio mlinipatia kazi. And charity begins at na hata Yesu alianza Jerusalem. Alafu akaenda Judea. Wewe mko men kabla hata hujaenda wewe tusaidia hii watu ya nyumbani. Saidia watu ya nyumbani. Itakuwa makosa mko men hii watu kulalamika baada ya barabara mambo ya barabara na wewe umekuwa waziri. Mimi najua iko matatizo mengi ya pesa. Tulipata shida mingi. Mlisikia nikisema pale Kasarani tulikuta store hakuna kitu. Hata panya walikuwa wametoroka hakuna kitu ya kukula. Hii watu ya Azimio waliiba kila kitu wakaenda naye. Igina waweka Cayman Island, igina wakaweka Uingereza. Sasa tumeanza kasi mpya. Rais anangangana usiku na mchana. So huyu Kipchumba msimpige sana iko kitu. Sitaki niongee sana. Najua mambo yetu hatutaki ijulikane sana. Iko maneno inakuja. Si mumeelewa? Hapa mnataka nipitishe hapo? Iko iko maneno namna hii namna hii nyinyi mnyamaze. Mnyamaze si ni watu wetu. Iko maneno pole 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 iko kitu na naundwa karibu ive. Itakaa tukikaa mnaanza kuona nyoe 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 basi. Sasa hivyo hiyo iko sawa. 
Mimi ningetaka niseme mambo ya maji. PS Junior Rono anatoka hapa. Alafu Iko nini ya kuongea? Si anatoka hapa? Eh. Mumaliza mambo yenu. Mimi nataka kusikia kuja fungua hii maji, kuja fungua ile, kuja fungua ile. Mimi ndio nataka kusikia. Hapa. Kwa hivyo hiyo mtaendelea naye. Tukitoka hapo niseme na huyu chelule ameongea vizuri sana. Huyu wanjiru huyu anakuru. Huyu nilimpigia kampeni sana. Na huja niita unichinjie. Unajua vile mimi niliumia hapo. Nikiongea na watu ya lugha ya nyumbani wa wa kuchagua. Na watu wetu walikataa mambo ya ukabila. What CSS is saying is right. 2022 elections you will ukabila katika Kenya. Many of you had doubts kama watu ya mlima Kenya watapigia William Rutakura. Si ni kweli? Because ya ile historia ilikuwa hapo. Lakini mimi niambia hao relax. Sisi ndio tunajua hii watu. Tunaongea kana usiku. Unajua kwetu mambo tunaongea usiku. Mchana atuongee. Unajua si ni maumau. Mambo ya maumau ni ya usiku. So unajua wale wenye kutupiga usiku tukiongea walikuwa wanakunywa pombe. Sasa wajui ni nini nafanya nini? Inaendelea. Mimi nikaambia hao kipchumba nyinyi mu relax nyinyi mwende mtaharishe kura yenu hatuwezi pika so huyu William Ruto alikuwa ametutendea mema alikuwa ametupenda ametutembelea tumemuelewa tumeelewana tumeona hako na sera tumeona hako na maono alafu mwingine akatuambia tumpige hatu wamekosana tukamuuliza mkikosana sisi tulikuweko hatukuweko sisi ni watu tuko na miaka kumi na nane kuenda juu kila mtu wako na kitabuli sasa mtu yuko na kitabulisho utambebea akili. Sasa ukamwambia yule mtu ya kwetu wewe piga kura yako pale unataka na bibi yako na watoto. Sisi tumejipangana na hii kijana ya Kipteris. Tumepanga. Tumemaliza. Sasa sisi ni kugojea si? Siku. Kwa sababu sisi ni wangwana. Sisi kitu hatupendi ni usaliti. Ukitusaliti tutakuchukia. Na yule alisaliti William Ruto na haku wa mtoto wetu lakini tukaona ni mbaya kwa sababu hatupendi usaliti. Tukasema huyu mumesaliti huyu. Huyu mnaangaisha. Huyu mnadharau. Huyu ndio tutainua, ndio tuoneshe nyinyi hatupendi usaliti. <laughs> na hiyo tukafanya. Na pale sisi tuko. Kwa president William Ruto tunangoja siku. Hii inakuja. Tumalize. Hatuna shida sisi. Sisi tukipenda mtu tumependa. Tukikataa wewe tumekataa. Hii mzee ya kitenda wili ya kwa mazishi hapo juzi. Hapo nyandarwa. Hakaniambia uo wewe. Wanini utaki masukumuso. Kwani unawakopa masukumuso. Uwe kubali tusukumuse. Mimi nikamuka na kamambia mimi siyokopi masukumuso. Hile mtu unawakopa ni wewe. Kwa sababu pali yote umeenda umeharibu. Ulikuwa kwa moi ukaharibu. Ukakuwa kwa kipake ukaharibu. Umechukua mtoto wetu uru kenyata. Umekoroga ya umemuchangania. Hamepotea. Sasa tunaona ukikaribia William Ruto atapotea. Hiyo ndio shida yetu na wewe. Nilimwambia kama ameketi hapo. Nilifanya mzuri ama mbaya. Nilimjibu hapo. Nilimjibu hapo. Kwa sababu ni mzuri kuambia mtu ukweli. Sasa walikuwa wanajaribu kuja hapo kwa rais. Juzi nimetoka nimeenda ngamo nimeenda Italy. Wanajaribu kupitia huko, wanajaribu kupitia huko. Nikaitwa nikarudi haraka. Sababu pale unajua kazi yangu pale ni rahisi sana. Mimi kazi yangu ni kuchunga rais William Ruto na mimi sina kazi nyingine. That is my work. Nikiona mtu yeyote anaweza tatiza serikali yake. Hiyo ni kazi yangu kungangana na hiyo mtu. Na huyu kitenda wili historia yake ni mbaya. Ama mnataka nimkubalie? Nimkubalie akaribia rais. Sasa mimi naenda Colombia kutafuta soko ya kahawa. Alafu nipite Cuba. Lakini nimepanga. Hiyo ikulu nimeweka miteko kila kona kila kona kila pale kila kila bahali nimeweka na niko na watu wa kunipigia simu wakionekana tu karibu naambiwa kwa sababu uwezi mtu ameharibu serikali ine umkubalie akuje ya tano si ataharibu juzi amekuja pale KICC nimemkaribisha vizuri simuliona kwa heshima kwa sababu yeye ni mzee wetu amekuja tumemwalika 
Sasa kuliko aende ya ket kwa kiti yake anataka kuingia marais mahali wamekaa wale wamejaguliwa. Na hii mtu kuna mtu amemchagua. Sasa ile nyumba hata kipchumba huyu na waziri hawezi ingia. Ni marais tupu wamekaa. Marais wamejaa pale. Ati anataka kuingia pale akae na marais. Sasa tunauliza watu tunauliza huyu ni rais ya wapi? Lakini pale kwa hall tumempa kitia ya heshima hata alikuwa namba 4 kutoka kwangu nikaa pale kama mzee anasikiza maneno akikaa kaa usingizi ukisidi anangorota kidogo sasa siku zinaenda una shida na huyo ni mzee wetu na nilimwambia siku hiyo tunataka tumchunge tunataka tumchunge tumpagie retirement yake tutafutie askari tafutie gari nyumba ya kukaa akitaka piki piki moja ama bili ya kumuongoza there is no problem kama iko makosa aende mnyumbani apumzike Iko sasa hiyo miaka themanini sasa imezi ina miaka na songa na mwili ni ule ule tu si ndio so nyinyi msikuwe na wasiwasi nyinyi kazi yenu ni kumwombea rais wale watu wangetaka kumtatiza hiyo kazi mniwachie mniwachie na mimi niko hapo na sila, mi na lala na jicho moja ingine na lala ikiwaona nafunga moja usiku ile ingine nakaa kama tochi E, nikisikia maneno nakimbia hapo 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 kwa sababu hii serikali tulitafuta na shida mingi sana hatuwezi kubali mtu haribu unless watu ya kericho muniambie tukubalie yaribiwe eh si tulitafuta na shida mingi huyu William Ruto walimtesa nimefika pale kwa nyumba alikuwa na kaa nimekuta ilikuwa nanyesha kama mchana alikuwa kila nyumba ameweka sufuria sufuria ya kutaka maji eh choo zote zimevunjika Maji imekatwa, stima imekatwa. Mtoto wa mwenyewe. Si hata yeye ni mtoto wa mama. Walimuumiza huyu rais. Mimi nilienda pale nikatoa machozi. Sikuwa najua ameumia kiasi hiyo. Sasa nikamuuliza wewe rais, mbona uliumia na mna hii na kutuambia? Akaniambia sasa kama ningeambia nyinyi bali mtu amenifikisha mungenitoroka. Mungeona kama hatuwezi toboa. Sasa mimi nilikuwa nasema tuko sawa, tuko sawa lakini ni kweli nilikuwa nimeumizwa. Sasa hao watu walituumiza wakaumiza rais wetu. Ati sasa wanataka kuja kuketi. Kwa meza. Sasa mimi nauliza yeye anasema nataka kuketi na rais. Anapita kwa rais wa Tanzania, o muongeleshe rais tuketi. Anaenda kwa obasajo, mwambie rais tuketi. Ni sawa. Rais akiketi na wajumbe ya UDM anafukuza hawa. Is he genuine? Is he genuine? Ndio mimi nimemwambia huyu kijana hapa Aaron mimi nampenda sana wakiwa na ichongwa ni watu wangu lakini nimewapigia simu juzi nimeuliza kama wana amefungwa kitaba hapa ya white amekula vizuri nini 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 si huyo ndio ya kufukuzwa kama lazima watu wafukuzwe wakiketi na rais bora huyu Kalonzo na alikuwa pale siku tulikuwa na marais ya Afrika alikuwa pale na nikaona nafurahia chakula soup nini anakaa mzuri nafurahia iko makosa gani sasa hao wajumbe wamekuja kutafutia watu maendeleo. Finally nikimaliza. Bishop wetu umeongea vizuri. Hiyo kika leo uliongea hapa nilisikia. Ukauliza huyu governor na deputy yake. Siku ya mazishi wako pamoja. Siku zingine wanazo sana. Wacha mimi niseme namna hii. Wacha mimi niseme namna hii. Unajua mimi ni mtu ya kuongea ukweli. Mimi kazi yangu juu ya kutafutia ya kukinga rais asisumbuliwe na watu ya zimio na kumsaidia kusukuma kazi pia ni kazi yangu ya kumtafutia heshima mimi sitakubali watu ya nyumbani waibishe rais wetu si anatoka hapa kipteres si, si mtoto wenu sasa rais ameita mkutano pale kongamano Marais 25 wa Afrika wamemwambia Rais William Ruto tuongoze Afrika. Tuongoze. Rais ameheshimika the whole of Africa. Ameheshimika duniani nzima. Saa hii anajitayarisha kuelekea New York. Ataenda kuongea kwa niaba ya Afrika katika United Nations General Assembly. Kutoka hapo ataenda COP28 huko Dubai kuongea kwa niaba ya Afrika. Rais ameheshimika Kenya, 
Afrika duniani. Alafu kwake nyumbani kiricho watu nakombana. Hii mimi siwezi kubali. Siwezi? Ama nyinyi mmekubali? Mimi nauliza governor na deputy, siku mlikuwa mnatafuta kazi. Mlikuwa mnapendana, mnatembea pamoja. Saa hii mkifanyia wananchi kazi mnaulizana nini? Hii wananchi watafanyiwa kazi na nani? Iko maendeleo gani itakuja kiricho kama iko vita? Eh? Hakuna maendeleo itakuja kiricho na dio siku hao ma MCA walikuwa nagombana nikawaketisha. Na mimi nataka kushukuru hawa MCA. Hawa. Huyo speaker alikuja alikuwa mkali nikamwambia wewe hapa ni kwangu. Bwana ongea na ukali hapa. Ukiongea na hiyo ukali ndio na speaker MCS iko amani kiricho. I took my time kwa sababu nitakuwa nimeanguka kama rais atapata aibu nyumbani. Mimi nasema governor deputy nitaita nyinyi wawili. Na sitaita nyinyi Nairobi pale kwangu Nyeri chini ya mlima tukiangalia mlima. Si mnataka niwaita Nairobi ama Nyeri? Nyeri. Tuongee tusikizane. Mkubali vile mlitafuta kura pamoja, mfanye kazi pamoja, watu wa kiricho wafaidike. Mkishindwa tuko na shida wa spoka. Mkisikia iko maneno barabara, mnashikana, mnakimbia kwa mkomen, mnachukua barabara, mnarudi nyumbani. Mkisikia iko maji, mnakimbia, mnachukua. Mkisikia nimepata chakula kidogo, mnakimbia kwa wangu, mnachukua. Lakini kasa mama mnapigana, kuna mtu atamsikiza? Yeah, karibu hata rais aseme tu cancel hii kitu ya kiricho. Hii sherehe hii ya 20th. Mimi ndio nilimpoaesha. Alikuwa amesema kama watu ya kiricho wanapigana, tutafute pahali nyingine twende sherehe. Sisi hatuwezi enda pahali iko na vita. Mimi nikamwambia rais tafadhali usikasirike hii tu ni watoto ya nyumbani wacha nitaenda nitanyorosha hao. So sherehe itaendelea but the matter is that serious. The president is not amused. He is very unhappy. I'm also unhappy that Kiricho is having conflict that should not be the case. Kama ni watu walikuwa ajuani tungekuwa ni sawa. Lakini ni walitafuta kura pamoja. Simuli wapigia kura pamoja. So nitawaita nyedi alafu tuongee hiyo maneno ndio tumalize kilicho ikae mzuri ndio tuweze kupata maendeleo. Kwa hivyo mimi sitaki nisidishe kutoka hapo. Ningetaka kusema mheshimiwa pole once more and the family we are with you. We'll pray for you. We'll uh, hold your hand. We are available. Sasa nimesikia mimi nilisema mambo ni matatu kahawa majani chai na maziwa rais naye akasema mambo ni mata mambo ya wizi sasa huyu toto amepunguza imekuwa mbili sasa unajua ikiwa mbili hakuna democracy unatakiwa ukuwe na choices sasa toto si utasema mambo ni moja sasa ikiwa moja hakuna democracy sasa nimeona wamepunguza sasa huyu huyu women rep ya nakuru amesema mzuri muongeze watoto Ah. Mimi mwenyewe na simu jinga sana lakini simu erevu niko tu hapo katikati. Mimi ni wale watu walidanganywa na wazungu atetusaye watoto ngapi? Atijio tuweze kulea. Sasa wangu ni watoto wakubwa. Boma nimepewa pale iko nyumba karibu kumi Ukiwacha glass hapa after one month ukirudi unaikuta hapo. Hiyo ni boma ya aina gani sasa? Tulidanganywa na wazungu ati 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 watoto wawili sasa mimi tulikuwa watoto tisa kwetu watu, wazazi wangu wako wamesoma na walitusomesha sisi zote mimi na nimesoma ati mimi napata wawili asinaogopa hii wazungu walitukosea sasa lakini tumechelewa so nyinyi wale bado chelewa wacha tu tujaze hii dunia wacha tujaze hii dunia si Mungu atangalia hii watoto watoto ni baraka Sita, saba, nane, tisa, abo. Eh? Ata, ata kumi? Lakini hata nikijipenda pia, mukikosa hii watoto, raisi na mimi tutapigua kura na nani? Si hata sisi tujipenda kidogo? Eh, wacha tujaze hii dunia. Si hata bibidia inasema tujaze? Hii maneno ya wazungu tuwachana na ayo. Wacha tu, 
na hii mahindi yote mmelima nini maziwa si iko iko chakula ya kutosha watoto watapata chakula na watasoma na itakuwa sawa sawa kwa hayo mengi nimesema asanti thank you very much wale mmekuja kuobeleza na hii eh, familia and we want to thank the church and every one of us for coming asanteni sana mungu wabariki Uh, yeah. yeah, Your Excellency, tukae kidogo, tupate vote of thanks, alafu tupate maombi ya mwisho. Na Your Excellency, familia hii ilikuwa imepanga. Senator Hillary Sigei, atoe vote of thanks kwa wale watu walitusaidia. Karibu, Senator. Asante sana eh, mwishmiwa Hilary Koske, Your Excellency Deputy President. Tunasema asante kwa yale maongezi umetupatia na tunataka kukua kikishea kwamba tumeti, tunakupenda na mungu wa kubariki na serikali yetu. Kabla sijasema eh, vote of thanks, nataka pia ni julisha familia kwamba tumepokea eh, from Lily, um, sorry, from... Uh, Yes, Pauline Lenguris, eh, women rep wa Samburu, na pia Martha Wangari, women, eh, MP wa Gilgil, ametutuma pia na Rizala Zao, Sana Mirambi, pia wa... ...familia ya, ya sijasema ya mwisho, familia ya mama wetu, familia maali ya papo, Tafadhali tukai chini ili tupate maombi ya mwisho. Tafadhali tukai chini tupate maombi ya mwisho. Nilikuwa nataka kusema tulisahau kurecognize familia ambapo mama wetu eh, Lili Cherorot anatoka. Ningetaka ni waombe mahali pale wako. Wasimame tu alafu waseme pole. Pia wakati huo wanasimama tukiendelea mheshimiwa eh, Ngong Ngeno kutoka Digiri alifika wakati naibu rais akiongea tunakutambua mheshimiwa allow me eh, mr dbd president to recognize the following familia ya mama wetu wako wapi asante sana asanteni sana mungu awabariki asante kwa kukuja kukaa na familia hii yetu na kuomboleza na sisi tafadhali tukae chini asante sana your excellency allow me to just give a vote of thanks on behalf of the family on behalf of uh, Cherrod's family and the people of Kipkelion we want to appreciate his excellency the president for the support that he gave us we want to appreciate you your excellency the deputy president for the support that you gave us both in terms of preparation in the fundraising and today to condole with us i also want to appreciate the executive office uh, of the cabinet secretaries and the pss led by waziri kiptumba murkomen and your team i want to appreciate in a special way the parliament both the senate and the national assembly and the following four members of parliament who coordinated the fundraiser that we had leading to us getting over 4.5 million mshimwa hilary kosgei ambaye alikuwa ame
Bishop or two to come and close the Lord of Prayer. Maybe he says something small. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for allowing me now to bring to a close this program with a word of prayer. I want to thank our leaders, particularly the Deputy President. Um, tunataka uongozi thabiti katika taifa letu mkiongoza President William Ruto na wewe mutupeleke katika hiyo mnatupeleka na minaona kule mbele iko sawa kule mbele iko sawa na itakuwa taifa ya kuheshimika taifa ya kuongoza mataifa mengine yote katika Afrika nikimalizia hapo nyinyi mmeongea kuhusu nipe hiyo miwani iko kitu hapa kidogo nyinyi muli nataka tu niweke sasa hiyo maneno mmesema hiyo sasa hii kwamba children are a heritage from the law offspring a reward from him like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them they will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court but wale wanaweza wafanye hiyo maneno haraka haraka yes na kura iko kwa goza hakuna kura mkifunga break na kosa hiyo kitu mimi niko na bajuku na mimi niko na vituku tatu sasa so mimi nimeenda mbele na mimi na yule jamioso yangu asante yule mheshimiwa alipatia jamioso yangu sawadi very good sana sana siku moja kuja kwetu kule mbusi eh sasa ni ya maana sana biblia inasema barikiwa yule hapo na wengi ukiona enemies wakisimama kwa gate ambia watoto kujeni wote na mnasimama hapa na kuangalia unaona watu natoka lakini kama wewe ni peke yako msee na tokea na nini anasema kwa hivyo tuzae watoto na tubarikiwe ama nuna gani ndio ya mwisho kabisa ni kwamba sisi ni wachungaji the men of the cloth si tulichagua Mungu alituchagua alituita kwa hii taaluma na Sijasikia mkiongea juu yetu hata siku moja. Sasa kwa sababu wewe unaongea huko kweli na doruka zako hapo. <laughs> kwa hii kazi yetu. Na hata Mrs. Ruto ni mwombezi mwingine hapo na mna hiyo. Nyinyi siku nyingine muongee juu yetu. Siku ile sisi hatutaki mshahara kwa sababu amwezi kutumatia mshahara mimi naona. Lakini siku ile mimi naenda retire na mimi ni karibu kwenda mimi na baki na one year na miezi tano mimi naenda home mniletee bahasha ile yenyewe na gari ile yenyewe msiwache wachungaji waende nyumbani wakufe haraka sababu wakienda bila chochote wanaenda hii tumbo inaenda inarudi ndani bas kwa hivyo mtukumbuke na sisi nataka tuombe sasa Baba Mwenyezi Mungu ishe milele katika jina la Yesu. Tunakushukuru tunasema asante kwa sababu katika hema hii umetuletea utulivu. Katika hema hii umetuletea mashauri. Katika hema hii tumepata mwongozo hata ya kitaifa. Tumejua mahali tunaelekea. Umefuta machozi ya familia hii ya ndugu wetu Cherorot. 
Mungu tunasema asante kwa kukaa pamoja nasi. Asante kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu ulia na mipango mzuri kwa ajili yetu. Na siku moja tukifika mbinguni tunajua tutapokea taji iliyong'aa kwa sababu wewe ulitutumia tukiwa hapa tukafanya kazi yako. Kwa hivyo bariki jamii hii yote. Simama pamoja na watu wa Kipkelion hapa. Simama pamoja na watu wa taifa la Kenya. Simama pamoja na viongozi wa kericho yote. Tunaomba uongozi mwema, baraka iandamane pamoja na sisi. Asante kwa ministers, asante kwa permanent secretaries, asante kwa wale wote wanafanya kazi katika nchi hii. President wetu na naibu wake usimame pamoja nao. Uwaongoze, uwalinde, wakae salama na wawe na hekima itokayo mbinguni kama ile ulimpa Sulaimani. Waweze kuona mambo hata yakiwa mbali. Waweze kujua yaliyo mabaya na wafungie nje. Waone yaliyo mazuri na kukaribisha. Mungu tu mama na mtoto
change kwa Santé <laughs> Mutoe kwanza alafu ya sabu mnapiga tupigi hapa nje. Thank you. You remember where we are facing as challenges? Correct. Thank you very much. Mukaribie hapa, mukaribie. Thank you, Pindua. Ah, yeah, Sasa. Mueke up a Jew. It's normally a tedious one. Mueke ni kwa hii kitu kwanza hapa. And then musapot, musapot, musapot. From there, you stop fast. Sasa simameni hapa kwanza, upige sasa. Ngoja ngoja tu pole pole nini pole pole. Pole pole, pole pole, pole pole. Thank you very much. Ah, mchungaji, nafikiria. Tunaomba familia sasa tukae hapo hivi. Watu wengine tuachie immediate family. 
tuachie immediate family members hapa wengine twende nyuma uh, MPs tafadhali kujeni upande huu kama mnanipata kujeni upande huu mchungaji na freya tuko sawa uh, mtu mmoja tafadhali kuja hapa mtu mmoja kuja hapa tafadhali kuja kuja hapa kidogo kuja kuja saidie sasa saidie kidogo saidie hapo okay Alright, to na mwezi para. Alright. Alright, um Basi tumefika hapa sehemu ya mwisho ya sherehe ya mwenda zake Vincent. Na ningependa sasa kumuliza yule operator wa hii machine aiteremushe mwili pole pole Na napo teremusha ni nasoma somo hili Brothers and sisters we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope For we believe that Jesus died and rose again and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him according to the lord's word we tell you that we who are still alive who are left until the coming of the lord will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep for the lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first and after that we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with, the, with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so we will be with the Lord forever therefore encourage one another with these words even as we lower the body of Vincent to his resting place a temporary resting place mahali ataenda kupumzikia ni mapumziko ya muda mfupi kwa sababu hatujui ni lini lakini hivi karibuni tarumbeta ya bwana itakapolia biblia inasema wale waliolala katika kristo yesu watafufuliwa kwanza watapaa juu na kukutana na Bwana Yesu kule mawinguni na sisi tulio hai ambao tumeachwa hapa hadi wakati huo wa tarumbeta pia tutabadilishwa miili yetu iwe miili ya ku the bodies of glory miili ambayo inaweza paa juu mbinguni sisi tutaenda kukuungana pamoja na hawa walio tutangulia na pale juu tutakaa pamoja na Bwana Yesu na mambo mengine yatakapoendelea pale tutakuwa tukijitayarisha kwa mambo ya uzima wa milele mahali tutakaa pamoja na Yesu milele na milele hiyo ndio neno inayotufariji inayotutia moyo na akasema encourage one another with these words meaning that this is just a temporary, temporary residence, residence, residence for Vincent, for Vincent. he is not he going, is to, not be going to be too long and he will meet the lord jesus christ in the air before we do and therefore let us encourage one another Let us encourage one another even as we face this thing this terrible thing called death we have hope because we shall resurrect just like Jesus resurrected Yesu alifufuka na sisi pia tutafufuka Yesu alipaa juu na ameendelea ameenda pale kutuandalia makao amesema nimeenda kuandalia makao Musi hofu mioyoni mwenu 
nitarudi tena niwachukue ili mahali nilipo na nyinyi muwepo Mungu wako na mipango mzuri tusiwe na hofu hata kidogo tujitie moyo kwa maneno hayo family na sisi wote tungependa sasa ningependa wachungaji wachukue mchanga Biblia inatuambia sisi tulitolewa kwa mchanga na mchanga tutarudi pale kwa hivyo wachungaji wote walioko karibu chukua mchanga na tufanye ceremony hii ya kuaga um, kijana wetu Vincent come around now as we lay this body to rest in the name of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit amen family members Let us pray as the family members prepare to also throw some soil in there. Tuombe. Mungu wetu, baba wetu wa mbinguni, tumefika mahali hapa tukikuhitaji tupe nguvu na uwezo ya kufanya kazi hii hadi tamati. Mungu utu fariji endelea kufariji familia ndelea kuwapa moyo wakijua kwamba Vincent anapumzika mahali hapa kwa muda mfupi kisha atafufuka pamoja na wale wengine walitutangulia sisi na tutakaa na wewe milele tubariki kwa jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu amen family members now please alafu wapi wale walikuwa na tuongoza kwa maombi no i mean kwa nyimbo nyimbo hebu iendelee kama kuna kwaya na watu wengine yangu rafiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe pamoja na wewe Jana wewe katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe ili hapa sikutaka ili heshimiwe na yani kutemasha ka sawa sawa na wewe pamoja na wewe na viongozi na viongozi socion mheshimiwa weka pia viongozi wale wako karibu wapatie ni nafasi mps mheshimiwa chebora kwa karibu na waheshimiwa wote MCS MPs please kujeni mtupe mchanga umekuja hiyo kazi na tutimize wajibu wetu karibuni viongozi family na viongozi at the same time pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe Come and support this activity. Thank you. Come and support this activity. 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 Come and support this activity
kiasi 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 mvua atakua mvua 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 m